No Jumper, coolest podcast in the world. And today I'm in here with an eclectic mix of characters. I guess you could say one of them is wearing boots. How do you describe those boots? These are Red Wing industrial boots, okay, when I work in the factory. How do you land upon that as the ideal uh, <laughs> footwear for a person who does almost no manual labor ever? You don't know what kind of manual labor. Listen, I was in carpet cleaning before this. It was a hard work. Okay? Most of your time is accounted for, I think, pretty well. <laughs> well... 10 hours a day. That's There's what I'm saying. 14 like, other hours a day. What do you do all if day? If you were doing manual labor in addition uh-huh. to all the streaming, that would be pretty incredible. And if you managed to keep it a secret, it just seems like it would be a poor use of Well, listen, these boots are lifetime guaranteed, so if I have to do manual labor in the future, I'm set. <clears throat> would you say that those boots are made for walking? They're made for hiking through the factory. What if someone told you that they were made for walking and that's just what they'll do? And that one of those these days, those boots are going to walk all over you? Uh, I'd probably assume you're making a reference to a song that I vaguely remember, but not enough to like drive off of. So, yeah, that is the case. But okay, why why the new shoes? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Why not? Either they're cool. I like them. They're good boots. But there's got to be somebody who like influenced you to rock those. I just decided to, you, last time I was here, Lush was like, "I can't believe you came here dressed like that." So now I bought a bunch of crazy shit that I'm trying out. Lush wears a lot of crazy. Shit. Good. So I got jeans. I got worker boots. I got. Yo, this looks like a yeah. Home Depot commercial. Yeah, it is. <laughs> I'm going for the the lumberjack Home Depot. Minus uh, the hair, guy. Though. The hair really just throws everybody for a loop. I kind of like it. Like it's more clickbait. Thanks. The hair. Yeah. yeah. You get you get more views now. I honestly, it's like part of my because a lot of people. I did TikTok stuff with her, and a lot of people call me like the blue hair guy. So. Mm. Wait, what's the belt? It's just a belt. Like snakeskin? I don't think it's real snakeskin. I think it's like $10 from Walmart. But. It's like attempting to look like some sort of animal hide. Maybe. That I hunted while in my worker boots. Yeah, I can tell that those actually haven't really been worked in too Well, that's because I bought them three days ago, so. Right. But did you discover like a menswear blog or something? No, if I discovered menswear, I think they all say, um, they've got like a whole smart casual section. But I'll try that next time I come here, okay? That, that sucks that you didn't know about the menswear era on the internet. No, I did, but I, because oh, okay. I was always interested in it, but like, so I'd be like, okay, cool, there's, because there's a subreddit called like male fashion advice and everything, mm. and I'd go to the subreddit, it's like, okay, well, what do you buy to wear? And they're always like, pick what feels best for you, and like, what looks best for you. It's like, well, if I fucking do that, I wouldn't be at this fucking subreddit, so that's why I just wear sweatshirts. Do you think you'll ever have like a, a suit era? Maybe. Maybe for my next debate, so I'm looking at them. It's, it's nice so thing. cool, and it makes people perceive you in such a specific way, but then also, it just, it's uncomfortable, You're sweating your ass off in this weird I don't know. I just I feel like it would be so uncomfortable. When was the last time you wore a suit? Mm, a wedding, a couple months ago. Okay. And then my my oh, I actually tried on a suit for my own wedding recently. Oh, cool. Yeah. Oh, that hasn't happened yet. No, still a couple months away. Okay. You want to come? Where is it? Italy. You, sure. <laughs> <laughs> if you want me to. <laughs> Yo, but why is that your attitude on like life in general? You're just like, I, wait. I don't know. The trip me- to- Italy, why I not? Sure, going. I don't know. If Pearl says come to London and get yelled at by some old Haitian lady, you are there. I shouldn't say Haitian. I don't know where she's <laughs> from, but it's just the, the vibe was definitely like, wow, Destiny will travel anywhere. To just I feel like a of... lot of my the success that I have, a lot of it is like I'm just willing to be in places. Like I, you've probably noticed this for you guys that a lot of success is kind of just like being in the right place at the right time. It's scary how lucky and unlucky you can get. True. Yeah, um, yeah, and there are times where I'm sure you know it. They we're found like, me on Omegle, bro. <laughs> People. And I was just drunk, uh, alcoholic. And then the dude's like, yo, you want to get on this uh, Rod show? And uh, all I called him is a fat, ugly slob. And I was just a drunk, aggressive bouncer back then. And he'd be like, you'd be perfect for the show. But if I wasn't on Omegle, I'd be working $10 an hour the rest of my... We yeah. should all be on Omegle. Like. No, <laughs> not anymore. I mean, why, why? They switched it up? Well, I mean, now it's like... Uh, they don't do shows like that on Twitch. Like, what show do they do as big as... There used to be shows on Twitch where it was literally, like, 12 crazy people screaming at each other in a room for, like, seven hours. It was yeah. called the Raj Royale, yeah. But they, they won't do... allow that anymore? Well, because everybody's, like, now obsessed Twitch with, like... Is... Well... like... They don't do sh- They don't do anything. Uh, you can get banned for... What did Aiden get banned for? I don't even know. Well, I Any... think he played... Right? That was on Kick. Oh, that was on Kick. I think I heard. I saw a tweet that said he got banned for showing twenty minutes of the Kick chat unobstructed, which was pretty brutal. Adam, Twitch every week has a dude coming out like these nice guys, blue hair like this. Hey, I'm sorry, I like to the girl, and I watch deep fake every week, fifty two weeks a year, and they ban me more than these guys. Whoa, okay. I have a perfect reputation. John Zerker. It's the worst website. It's a you are a large man because I've been waiting to meet you for a long time. 
because uh, everybody just keeps hyping up John Zerka to me. Oh man, you're gonna you gotta meet this guy. He's incredible. He's out he's out of control. You're lying. No, really. Who said that? Quite a few individuals. Joe Rogan. <laughs> Not Joe Rogan. Like big name? No. Just regular civilians, pretty much. But you brought him because he's your your largest, most muscular friend, and you wanted him to protect he you. He said, from "Come die with me." This ass beating. <laughs> no, I said, I, I, said, I, said, said I did not go. say. I did not say, "Come die with me." I no, said, no, he was I a said, sneaky little bro. I said, I he said, said, "What I are you doing? Come, you no, want to no. come at the same time?" And I'm like, "Bro, you're gonna get shot." I get what you're doing, bro. I said, "Come die for me." Okay, <laughs> big difference. All right. Yeah, he doesn't want to die. Yeah. Would you say to that guy's? Well, to be fair, they attacked his wife, right? They did. I mean, there was a whole sequence of events. We probably should get into that, but I also wanted to introduce uh, our fourth castmate here. A woman. Castaway. Is there a different word for a female castaway? What's a castaway? Oh. Typically somebody who's like stuck on an island or like, at sea. Oh, I thought you meant like an immigrant. Or... <laughs> I thought many, you... many of them might be immigrants. What's a castaway? If they were to end up in that situation. That Isn't a castaway like when the ship... like? I thought, is it is I the same as a like stowaway? A, Wait, what's a stowaway? A stowaway is somebody who like sneaks onto a ship yeah. or a boat or a plane and, and like hides out in the wheel well or whatever. What's a castaway? It's Wait, somebody, you're saying she snuck on a boat? No, I was really just saying she's a member of this cast, at least for the time being. Although I'm not 100% sure why she would want to be at this moment. But uh, no, I, I do not think that you are any sort of castaway. Thank you. Which, for the record, is like a castaway would be like when a ship breaks down and then there's yeah, and people on, like, and they the end plane. up living on a fucking I thought you were being yeah, or living on like a little island or something and you just have to survive. Gilligan's like Island. Like Gilligan's Island was a cat with castaways. Okay, gotcha. That's what I thought. I thought you were being edgy or like, you know? No, yeah. No, we don't do that here. I just met her. I just want to attack her. <laughs> Jeez. I was on her TikTok last night. Were you impressed? It was mostly fresh and fit clips, but uh, there was one funny moment though where my girl was listening to you and her have the conversation about oh god about how men are putting quarters in the sexual jukebox, and it was right after I had watched many many clips of her conversating with Myron and Fresh, and so my girl is already like tuned in, thinking that no matter who. She's hearing this woman argue with that it's got to be some red pill asshole. Mm -hmm. And she goes, this guy sounds like a fucking asshole. And I'm like, that's destiny. And she knew that she fucked up. And she went and sat in the corner and stared at the wall. Wow. I hope you made her watch three hours of my YouTube videos after that. No, but I said, you do not say that kind of thing about destiny. No, but I mean, I, I could understand how maybe that conversation sounded a little weird. Out of I mean, context. it was really aggressively and dishonestly cut up. So, yeah, you know, I'm sure it did. Oh, so... You've now been accused of clip chimping, yes. Clip chimping. Yeah. Is just taking clips out of context and using them to the gain context traction. was there. He just spoke poorly. He's good for that. Yeah. You know? He's good at like being right, but kind of making it sound offensive to people. True. Where would you say you register on the autistic scale? Me? Yeah. Is that fair? Are you autistic? I not intentionally. Okay, I thought that was like a given. I'm like 50-50, I think. Did you really? If I am autistic, I think I hide it pretty well. Mm. Sometimes. I think you're 10% because sometimes you say to me, like, I can't tell when you're joking. And I'm like, you know, that's kind of like... Weird. That is because I think you're actually schizophrenic. You're, you'll give no, me I'm answer. telling you, like, <laughs> people who can't pick up on nuance and sarcasm, right? That's kind of... Shit, bro. <laughs> Every like five minutes, this guy goes on like a twenty-minute fucking rant about Masonic literature Adam, and like the Black Pope and like Adam, fucking. I'm from clubbing industry. The clubbing. If industry, I make yes. a joke to you, you always get what I'm saying. I went to the fucking nerds because I want money right. on Twitch. They they couldn't understand the jokes. They didn't. Is he joking or is he actually a serial killer? They're like, they don't get it. Well, they're. It's the fluoride, bro. They drink the fluoride water. Just the, the Twitch streamers in general, you think that the, the constituent... Tap These guys drink tap water, bro. They don't pick up on sarcasm. Yo, I do this shit. I mean, I, but the, don't you Adam, think, to a certain extent, aren't these people just sort of willingly, maybe the, not knowing if Adam, they're serious Adam, or not for content? Adam, go to the countryside. They pick up on sarcasm. It's this fluoride water shit, this tap water, city water. That's why they look fucked up. You seen at the airport I these fucking he, liberals. He look would probably up. argue that his sense of sarcasm is more strongly Wait, tuned okay, so than the average normie. Was he right? joking right there? Was he joking? Or was he serious with the fluoride? How about water the fluoride? Shit? Yeah. How, who, who the fuck is going to think that fluoride is going to affect your sense of humor? <laughs> that seems like a stretch. Were you no, joking? No, it Jack? affected his penile gland, the seat of the soul. So now he's like kind of blurry. He's like, I can't tell if this is my enemy or my. 
He's that's like why, that's 80% why, of the time. I don't Adam, think he's trolling. Adam, he's actually schizophrenic. I'm serious, I'm serious. Okay. Kind of oscillating back and forth yeah. between trolling and not. These right. liberals, that's why they have to say like, hey, uh, can I fuck you? Like they need verbal <laughs> consent because they can't pick up on it, bro. Right. Have you ever said to a girl, I'm going to fuck you now? We don't have to do that because we're like, we're not fucking. You don't think announcing your in intentions is good there? If you say to a girl, I'm going to fuck you now. That's like rapist language. No, but the bro. question, the the qu I, do, I do agree it's a mood killer. But like, It's creepy. You just kiss and you're like, oh, yeah, you just go with the moment. Do, do you agree? Do you want a man to make it official verbally before he attempts anything? I think there could be something in the middle between what he described. That shit's such a turnoff. <laughs> you know, let's talk about fucking sex. Right? Is it rocket science? You want to fuck wait, wait, the John, guy, John, hop on his lap at the club? If the girl wants to fuck, there's this mating dance where she just goes on your lap. It's not fucking, these guys sit there playing chess and they're like, oh, I'm, I get really turned on when you touch me like this. But if you're breathing like that, it's reminding me of my father. And I, it's so fuck. Why the fuck would you have sex with a liberal? That's like, you have to have a like conversation, the most awkward conversation to get some fucking mid pussy. Are you out of your fucking mind? Who the fuck would do that? What are your thoughts? That's fair, yeah. Liberals versus conservatives. Who do you vibe better with? Sexually? Or whatever, yeah. I mean, I heard you lying about being a virgin and fresh and fit. <laughs> I wasn't really sure what to think of that. Why'd you think I was lying? I, I actually don't know, but it just seemed like... I don't know. Is anyone a virgin these days? It just seems like... Yo, this chair, bro. How are you guys <laughs> sitting? How do you sit in this fucking chair? Do you chair? want us to raise it's the like mic so you don't chair, have to slouch? Bro. Should I just lean back? Like should this? we should we up the mic so that you don't have to slouch? Yeah. Is that kind of the problem? Could we? Could, I mean, you could probably. Because I look too. like I'm tweaking, man. <laughs> you Hold it like by the hinge tweaking. and kind of slide it up, or he'll, he'll do it for you. Jeez. Hey guys, Jeez. don't worry. <laughs> is this your first time meeting John Zerka? It is. Yeah. How are you feeling about it? It's lovely so far. I it shook is. her hand and then I'm like, oh fuck. <laughs> what? What was what? the? What like was she really like, oh, he shook it too hard. And oh, really? You, you hit her with like the... No, it was a nice handshake, but then when I found out it's... They're on the, <laughs> no, they're on the same team. I was like, oh, fuck. As liberals or progressives? Yeah. Right? You wouldn't call yourself a liberal, right? Or would you? I don't yeah, know. yeah, a liberal for sure. Probably okay. progressive, yeah. I don't know. Am what, I paranoid? What makes you want to spend time with someone that you clearly consider such a cook? It's weird. It's like... I like clout. He's got a lot of fucking clout. That was unbelievably honest. I appreciate that. Right? Does he have clout? I guess, yeah. It would, it would and, appear. And it's good. I get to clip it, put all my shit. <laughs> but it's fun. Like, How did you become connected to him in the first place? Because I've they, seen a bunch of random conversations over the years. They put me on a flat earth debate, and I wiped the floor with him. Every single point. Wipe, I'm the flat earth. I destroyed him. The most views ever. They never let me do it again. Really? To this day, he won't debate that topic. Is this true? <laughs> I'll, I'll debate it, but it's just, it's fucking flat earth. Have you put a lot of time into, like, figuring out the best <laughs> anti-flat earth arguments, or are you just kind of winging it? A little bit of time. I mean, you just have to be familiar with their arguments, but... Right. <clears throat> Damn. I mean, what, what would you say was your kill shot when it came to the flat earth combo? Mm, rainbows. I beat him with a gay rainbow trap card. I said, I said... <laughs> Adam, how do you recreate a rainbow in a garage? Scientific method, how? Water vapor, a light source, and a glass dome. Where's the glass dome in nature? That's the Bible. That's the flat earth, the dome firmament. That's why you can't recreate a rainbow without glass. There's a dome. He said, rainbows are not dome-shaped. And that's when he fucking lost 100%. Are they dome shaped? They are. Like a half dome? Like they're not fucking spheres. They're like that. Well, in order for it to be a sphere, it would have to be a three dimensional shape. Like we only really experience the rainbow as just like a, a loop. You're on his sky, side, right? You're, you're with. Well, I mean, you're calling it a sphere. I don't think that's accurate. <clears throat> okay. He meant, he meant to call it a circle because sphere is. All right. Dude, fuck that kill yeah, shot. Half, half circle. The right? other kill shot was. Mars Rover. He believes in CGI photos of Mars. $100 million of tax revenue going to that. $100 million for a fucking Photoshop, bro. And he believes... Of the Mars Rover? What, yeah, they're all Photoshop. Did we land something on, on, on Mars? Yeah, but he know. thinks it's all fake. 
Uh, I don't think it. You guys think it. You see the fucking picture of the sun? It's fucking, it's a composite. <laughs> you think the sun is fake? No, no, no. Google, on, on Google, search up sun. Just sun in space. It's computer generated every time. I mean, like put put a clip so I don't look re- <laughs> to show what I'm talking about. If we search the sun, yeah, you're saying. <laughs> Are you fucking kidding me, Adam? Are you fucking kidding me? Which one? Pick one. Go pick one. I'm the fucking. I mean, pick one, Adam. Wait, that's real. It's a pretty unique thing to take a photograph of, wouldn't you say? Destiny, pick which which very one's far real? away. Which one's real? It's a hell of a light. Source. That's what you're paying for, bro. A fucking Photoshop. It's like the alien myth. I mean, could you blame them if they had to Photoshop the sun a little bit to, to really make the photo look good? Like, I don't know how they go about taking Search up planets sun. in space. If these were completely Every Photoshopped, I wouldn't blame fake. them. Every fucking planet in space is fake. Planets are real. They're like, they're like wandering stars. But they're not like you can't land on them and shit. Google planets. Where's my mod? <laughs> Where's my mod? Hold on. Planets. Planets in space. <laughs> Plants. <laughs> Robert Plant. Sp- okay. Look at this shit, Adam. Look how, look keep scrolling. Amazing. Keep scrolling. Shout out to It's AI. all fake. I'm crazy, Adam. You got nothing. You two got nothing. You went to fucking fluoride school and you got nothing. It's all fake, bro. You believe in magical space Wi-Fi that sends photos 100 million miles away, but you lose connection in the fucking mountains? Are you fucking kidding me? Okay, what you, do you think, Adam? You think he's Adam, trolling? You think he's trolling? Is it sarcasm still? Pick a photo. Which one's real? I will say that, like, it, it's not so dissimilar to some of the conversations I've had with my girls' Armenian family members. Okay. You know, it's like, it's, it, I could, like, if I was being introduced to him in a scenario where he didn't have a lot to gain from acting like a crazy guy on camera, I would maybe believe that he was being serious. <laughs> That's how he acts 99% of the time, on and off camera. Right. So, yeah. I don't know. I think he might be schizophrenic. Dude, I, I think Sonny V2 needs to update his video on you because it doesn't seem like it's really accounted for the last few years, right? When I, when I used to bounce full-time, nightclub, bar, nightclub, bar, I'd go home, do so much fucking blow, just flat-earth arguments, and I just fucking mastered them. Every conspiracy I mastered because I don't want to turn into this. <clears throat> I mastered all of them. Do you think that Destiny is being dishonest with denying the flat-earth? Or do you think that he's actually taken a look at the facts and made a rational decision? That's rational. This plant's looking, plant's looking pretty good. Pick one. Well, what about, what about Jupiter? That's where... <laughs> that one? Don't girls go to Jupiter to get more stupider? I got yelled at for saying that in front of my fucking nephews the other day. Nice. Yeah, apparently that's a harmful stereotype. To me, it's more just like a good rhyme. Yeah. I wasn't expecting them to not like buy into the logic of it. <laughs> um, okay, so I think we've said enough about outer space. I would like to raise the issue of why Destiny was in fear for his life when he came here. Why he has his own security guard behind the mic. Our security guard has been positioned right over here. They are expecting the worst. The worst. So let's just talk about it. How do we end up in this place? I never thought that I would see interconnected no jumper destiny beef on such a scale yeah it's a pretty crazy world yeah Do, am i supposed to well okay what was the intended effect of what you said and did you have no idea that it was going to be this is kind of a testament to what she was saying earlier you had no idea that perhaps uh it would be taken as offensive by certain people i think um people stuff on the internet is like very uh spontaneous like you never really know what'll blow up Mm. and it's kind of random sometimes. Like, there have been comments I've made that I thought were, like, really dicey, and no one cares. Mm. And there have been things I've said that are pretty innocuous that, like, a lot of people care about. So, you know, it's kind of it's another day on the Internet, I guess. There's a lot of truth to that. But I, I will say that when you faced off with the uh, the disconnected crew on Twitch or uh, on, on stream. On Discord. That was the first time I think I've ever seen. I've watched so many Destiny clips, and I don't feel like I've ever watched one where the other side was just basically telling you that they were going to whoop your ass. <laughs> yeah. Was that new to you entirely, or is this has this happened before? Um, I mean, I've heard people say it a lot online, but generally online shit is just online shit. I don't really know as much with this community because I don't spend much time in these 
communities. Right. I mean, for the record, we have security here, and it's our intention to keep everybody safe. There have been a few situations that snuck through in the sense that, you know, a drink was perhaps thrown in my direction. Uh, Sure. A young pimp was beaten within an inch of his life on camera. Blueface's girlfriend was dragged out by the security at one point in recent memory. So, you know, th- th- there are things happening, but we're trying to avoid them for the most part. So yeah, I can believe that. You are are in totally safe hands here, even without John Zerka in I here. Ne- I wasn't even going to help. I was going to talk it out. I'll be like, guys, we got to, like, I'm not going to fight six dudes. Like, how many are there? Well, I mean, you would assume that if they were going to send someone, they would probably just send, like, one targeted assassin instead of showing up with a whole group, right? Well, is that how it works? Is somebody going to come assassinate me? (laughs) Well, six is kind of (laughs) cumbersome. You're more likely to leave a trail if you have six people. You know, if somebody wanted to just get in and get out and just take Destiny's life, I feel like they would just send one ninja. Aren't you afraid, bro? Well, he's making (laughs) me more afraid. Now he's like making this sound more serious than I thought. Jesus. Because I I think (laughs) I'm like, you're in LA. One day you're going to forget. And I used to like, I used to be the type of guy, like, if I'm going to get back at you, never this year, maybe four years from now, when your life is great. So I'm like, th- th- that guy could be like, you know. But it's hard to stay mad for four years. Over, uh, especially over dumb shit. Yeah. I think you could stay mad for four years over some insane shit, but yeah. like on some dumb shit, this feels hard. So yeah. I'll, I'll give you an example that you might like, John Zerka. I was talking about this the other day on the podcast. I had a, a, a tough breakup with a girl like 10 years ago. And, you know, I'm a little sad. I start confiding in one of my friends about it. He tells me I got the perfect thing for you. He sends me a link to a website where you can order boar urine and another website where you could order boar, a, a boar urine. Yeah, and he said, you take this, you put it in a syringe, you go find her car, and you, you squirt the boar urine into the upholstery in her car and everything and into the AC ducts or anything under the hood, I guess. Apparently, boar urine smells really bad. It's really tough to get out. And when he told me that, I realized that I was really not that mad at her after all because I didn't have any desire to, like, ruin her car. So... Were you guys on good terms? No. That's why I was... That's probably why I was looking for Borg. That's why someone was suggesting Borg. Yeah. The, <laughs> the best way to get back at an ex? Reconnect and cheat on the bitch for a year. Right? Have your cake and eat it too. Cheat on the bitch for a year. Guilt-free cheating. Guilt-free. And you get to forgive her. I forgive you. <laughs> But how is that like revenge? You have to basically date one day her she for finds out she's like, oh my god! It just seems like a lot of work. You're taking a whole year out of your life where you could have been looking for love. <laughs> he's looking while oh, he's yeah. cheating. What do you mean? Love? What is True. love? Define love. But you're living with this woman. It's gonna kind of cramp your style at a certain point, right? Love does not exist. You believe that? Yeah. We're with each other because we need each other. But like, bro. This guy didn't have a dollar. He'd be alone. If I didn't have a dollar, I wouldn't have a girl. Like we, it's kind of like there's a lot of broke people with girls. No. You ever look at a homeless encampment? They're clicked up. They're dating. No, homeless guys don't get pussy. Yeah, they do. I've seen it. I've seen two that, dudes banging a chick on the side of the road in Skid Row. That was love. That's heroin. <laughs> well, that yeah, that's, almost certainly part of it. I don't know. I don't believe in that. Have you had your heart broken? Yeah. Who, yeah, did, who did this? Who did this to you? Honestly, Adam, all of them, bro. They all broke your heart. Yeah, because it's like, have you ever felt you're in a relationship where she actually contributed to something or did something useful? Did she yeah. pay for something? My current relationship, I would say she... She, she, she pays? She's, she's useful. Well, she's she's useful? Is that how you grocery? describe your yeah. so, fiance? She's well, useful? Useful is a very low <laughs> bar to hit. Well, Jesus. you're married. That's different. Almost married. Yeah, not yet. No. A couple months left for her to smarten up. I don't believe in it. Before Destiny flies to Italy to debate, per, <laughs> debate Pearl at my wedding. Yeah, true. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, so how did uh, she get introduced into your, your world, and how are you feeling about all this? Are you asking me for her? I'm asking you about her, and then she could go from there. Yeah, how did how um, you, you meet her? I think you did fresh and fit stuff, and that's pretty much all it takes for you to spend time with a woman. Fresh and <laughs> Jesus fit appearance. Jesus Christ! <laughs> she did fresh and fit stuff. I think she did me on Instagram, and we chatted about like debate related stuff. And then she was in Miami. We did some content, and now I'm in LA, and I guess we're doing content. How's that going? What do, What are you guys up to? Are you guys in love? No, we're just hanging out. Oh, just friends? Yeah, chill. Jeez. Well, I don't know. 
Damn. A little birdie told me you guys were dating. Who's the Yo, girl? Oh, really? What? Who's the girl? <laughs> oh, okay. You, I didn't know because they were acting so weird. They weren't even talking to each other when I sat down. But if there was another girl, I would have like said the other girl's name and I wouldn't have been pointing Did you at even her. talk to her? No, we just drove here. Why? I want to talk to you. Bro, Adam, I just saw you. I walked in. These guys can vouch. Dead silence like two fucking strangers, bro. <laughs> so I, I, I didn't know you guys. Love on the spectrum. You guys met? What the fuck? Oh, so you thought they didn't even know each other? It was so was quiet, dude. It was so awkward. What the fuck? They're just like looking at their What is this show? What are we doing here today, Adam? I have no idea. I'm, no, I'm, I'm saying not, Adam. I'm not rude, Adam. That's what I'm trying titling to say. This? I'm saying I'm not rude. I assumed they didn't meet because it was quiet. Right? They right. thought that too. Ask them. Well, I mean. I didn't do that to do like, like no insult. I mean, they, they look different. She has natural colored hair. He has blue hair. They appear to be originating from different continents, even per perhaps. She looks underage. Yeah. Jesus Christ! Because <laughs> no, no, no. Because he likes eighteen-year-olds a lot. You think he looks eighteen? No, no, he likes them. That's not even that, true. He bangs a lot of eighteen. That's not true. Nineteen. Not true. Would you be opposed on, like, okay, say you had a hot 18-year-old holler at you tomorrow. I'm not saying I wouldn't. I just say I don't. It's not like I've got a legion of 18-year-old girls. Right. The reality is, is that, like, most of the girls that I end up talking to are, like, 20 to 25. But that's just because my world, like, skews really low in age. It's really rare that somebody lasts, like, more than, like, three to four years in online content. I've been here, like, 12 years. Hip-hop so, like, is like that, too. Yeah. Like, like very... <clears throat> Out of the ordinary that you meet like a rabid drill rap fan who's well into their thirties. It's mm -hmm. like it becomes kind of scarce yeah. over time. If you're talking to like a YouTube fan or like a Twitch fan or whatever, they're like twenty they're like twenty four tops. Like right. ninety nine percent of the time. But okay, like you clearly would like to be living living the Leonardo DiCaprio lifestyle. What's holding you back? Is it morals or is it just optics? Looks. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even get what you meant by that. What did, what did you mean? He Like he has a shot at that lifestyle? What do you mean? I just like, I think that if Destiny was... I thought he was talking to me. I was like, I thought that question directed I, I to me. I'm, is, I'm closer to fucking the Leo question. He's living the Leonardo DiCaprio lifestyle. He's just doing so what? in private and not in nightclubs where he could be photographed by paparazzi. Yeah. If they were to be interested in photographing. Yeah, he doesn't actually pick them up at the bar. He yeah, some, Discord. He, he likes Discord, yeah. yeah. <laughs> he likes VC. What do you think of Leonardo DiCaprio? <laughs> He's a talented actor. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I like his movies. I, I was, was a really big fan of a Wolf of Wall Street. Yeah. Good movie. Django. No, no yeah, yeah. But but do you think that do you think that there there must be something psychologically wrong with him because he chooses to spend so much of his time with women who are like thirty years younger than him? Here's the reality. That's a I don't know. Mind. I don't know what his relationships are like. Like when it says yeah. he's dating like a 24, 24, like I don't, I don't know in that world. I don't know if dating means they're like acquaintances that go out to meals together to show up for paparazzi, and then he's fucking like twenty other girls on the side, or if they're actually like living together and like building a life. Together. I have no idea what his life. I is. heard a story from someone who fucked him. I <laughs> swear to God, this is not clickbait. I heard this story. You know this bitch, and I'll tell you after. Uh, can I get sued for talking about Leo? No. Allegedly. <laughs> Allegedly, and I never thought he likes this kind of music. He puts on fucking heavy metal when he's drugged up and fucks the bitch for like ten hours straight. The headphones? Yeah, with headphones on. Fucking. We used to joke about fucking with headphones all the time. I never heard anyone actually doing it. He's on yeah, those she's... American Psycho vibes, you know. Oh, did he do that in the movie? <clears throat> American Psycho. Well, it was Christian Bale, right? But he threw on headphones to fuck. Yeah. Was he? Oh, well, did he, is, did he have headphones on? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I like him. He's a big inspiration to me. I, like, I love Leo. I love Leo, yeah. But, yeah, you're right, though, that we all assume, like, when we hear about him dating a fucking 20-year-old, we all kind of assume that it would be him being in a normal relationship with her, which is, I guess, the thing that it's hard for us to imagine being done in a normal way. Mm -hmm. But, yeah, like, what's more likely? It's more likely that he's just, like, going to the club with her and just fucking... Yeah, they're, like, dating. He's so old that he might even be over-fucking. I don't know. How old is he? Isn't he, like, 50? Do you think you're over-fucking at 50? I think some percentage of people have kind of like moved on from just using their genitalia over and over. Do you think that the moved on part, that there's like a calculation between like amount of effort to fuck versus like your excitement level for it? So like if you're Leo, the effort is probably very, very, very low. Mm. So you probably would 
still fuck? Because I've heard they fuck a lot of like an old person's homes, right? I mean, probably, yeah. And definitely there's a lot of ways to make your dick hard these days that mm-hmm. uh oh, let me ask you about this. I was just talking to somebody else about this, but I've heard about multiple male porn stars who basically have this surgery to get this like pump put into their body so that they can like press this thing and and it makes their dick fill with blood. And I was told that this is also how it works for some trans people that they have a surgery so that their like <laughs> fake penis can fill up with blood by pressing this thing on their body. Have you ever heard of this? And a fake your, penis? Your time I thought with it's a it. real woman. <laughs> well, the penis is fake, right? I mean, it was created. From, I'm from asking him. Non penis material. Is it a fake penis, Steven? I don't know what the fuck we're. Or is talking it a about. real penis? Do you, are you aware of any kind of contraptions within a trans? I've never heard of this man. I think body? the constructed penis isn't it called like a. Is it like philoplasty or something? I don't know. I, I didn't know about the pump, but hey. I, I just need to learn about this. I need to know how it works. I like sex a lot. I feel like I would kill myself if I tried to put some shit in my body to make it better and it like fucked up. I you never took a Viagra? No. Is you it worth it? <laughs> From what I see with the male porn stars, maybe not. It seems like it's, I mean, it makes them all red and fucking out of breath and sweaty and weird. Jesus. I wouldn't want to have to do that every day <laughs> for my job. It sounds terrible. You think there are other drugs involved in that? It could be, but I don't have any reason to believe so. Okay. John Zerka, would you sleep with a trans woman? That's not a woman, and no. <laughs> okay. Why not? What if they were hot? Because I worked at a trans event for bouncing at Celebrities Nightclub for Blueprint back when they weren't sensitive. So I'd be like, yo, you guys are sinning. And they just laughed, <laughs> right? But check this out. And I said they, so don't do me wrong. You guys are sinning. I said they. Check this out. They used to laugh, and then COVID happened. And now, if you say you guys are sinning, they come after you. They get angry. They go on Twitter. It's like completely changed. Yeah. So They've really kind of discovered their own ability to be offended by things, huh? Yeah. But, I mean, if you're religious, most of the trans community probably already knows that you think that they're sinning. Yeah. I mean, I'm saying it got more sensitive because of COVID, right? They used to be a more chill community, and now it's like canceling people and shit. But I don't think that the that COVID was the X factor there. No, it increased. It's more like social progress, even. If no, no, people staying it. at home, right? Their mental health went to shit. I don't have the fucking studies, bro. <laughs> Help me out. Am I, I, think right about can- this? I think people were canceling people before COVID. No, I'm saying. But I think COVID made everybody go a little bit crazy. Yeah, yeah there's a lot of. Do people- you think? That we'll ever see like 2020 style rioting again, or was that basically contingent on everybody being home and bored? Is it 100% we're going to see it this year? This year? Yeah. Why? What's going to happen? It's this a year? divide and conquer. It's called, it's called the um, order out of chaos. Right? It's a Masonic thing. Right? I don't mean to. I'm told. Attack you. I've been Someone told that I was you. a Mason. Yeah. And your reaction was genuine. Like you didn't seem like, oh, what the fuck. But that I, tattoo is fucking shady, bro. Yeah, I got the devil head on my but hand. But check this out. Yeah. They call me. The fucking third eye. You got a big eye on there, yeah. And I'm like, I didn't even know. Like, so now they say I'm a, I'm like one of them and shit. But that's why I believed you. I'm like, I think you just got the tattoo, right? But I had this for like 10 years. It was the truth channel that attacked you, right? I don't even remember. But yeah. there's been a million videos about me being a Masonic puppet. I just honestly haven't even spent the like 45 minutes on Google to like really even know what that is supposed to entail. I have a very low threshold for paying attention to conspiracy theories. I'm surprised I entertained the flat earth thing for so long. <laughs> it's uh, as the political season starts, we're going to see more crazy shit. And then they're going to do lockdown number two. I, I $50,000 bet. You want to do a fifty thousand dollar bet that there will be year. a lockdown this year? What will because, be the because of social unrest? I'll bet you fifty thousand dollars. Right. What now. will be the cause of the unrest before we even get to, into the lockdown? They're gonna keep doing this uh, blue versus me, and they're gonna keep like putting on the media. Oh, a white man used to have slaves. Oh my god! And then they're gonna be like, "Fuck white people!" And the white people are gonna be like, "Oh no!" They're gonna keep pushing it on the media. He's gonna eat it up, and we're all gonna be. Wow. That's the new world order. How do you feel about that? I'm ready to eat it up. Do you think we'll see 2020 level protesting slash rioting again in, a, in our lifetimes? Or was that just like a particular moment in time? That, I think that was just a moment in time. Yeah, it kind of doesn't feel like you could ever imagine that many people being united on one thing. I think that I think the lockdowns helped accelerate it. I feel like stuff can can 
grow exponentially very quickly. Like something can be here and then like this can happen and then this and then out of nowhere it like explodes into like a huge thing. Mm. Not to get too crazy political or divisive, but like have you followed any of the uh, East Palestine, the Ohio stuff? A little bit. I've, uh, mostly people telling you that it has not been covered in the news. So you can go to archive.org and you can look up every mainstream media website. Every single website reported on this as it happened and in the days after. It was like right. top story of CNN and everything. Um, but nobody gave a fuck because it's another train derailment. They happen pretty frequently in the United States, sometimes with chemical spills, sometimes big ones, but it's not really, nobody really talks but about do it. Do we have a reason to believe that there's going to be like thousands of kids fucking mutating and shit because there's no, so much shit that just got put into no, there? But no. The, so here's what happened. Two weeks later, people start talking about it on TikTok. And now, it, TikTok and Twitter, now you got some guy screaming, look at the cloud. And some other guy was like, I talk like Mickey Mouse now. And everybody's like, oh my God, nobody covered it. What was happening? The reason why no one covered it, when they say nobody covered it, what they meant was they didn't see their friends talking about it on Twitter and TikTok. Right. And, now, and then out of that, now it's exploded into where people think that this is like one of the biggest catastrophes in US history. And if you were to ask them, like, what's going on in East Palestine right now? It's probably all under lockdown, all biohazard. Like, it's all done. Like, everything's done. It's been done for like a week. Like, oh, it's already been dealt with. So yeah. We like, the EPA is going to monitor levels and shit. But like, for the most part, it's all cleaned up and done. Like, no, and I wasn't surprised by like all the people. I was surprised when I saw people acting like it wasn't being covered by the media because I follow a bunch of mainstream media mm -hmm. organizations and I saw them tweeting out the link and. I honestly didn't even bother to fucking click. I probably wouldn't know the full story if I didn't see it in some <laughs> Phil DeFranco video or some shit because it's just not, it's just not like instantly looking like the most salacious thing. It doesn't yeah. sound like something I'm going to end up talking about on here, so it's kind of easy for me to skip over it. Mm -hmm. But something like that blew up into like Trump making speeches and now Pete Buttigieg has got, you know, egg on his face and people are wondering about, and, and it became a huge story out of like nothing, right? So that's what I mean when I say like little things can just compound and blow up out of nothing. And it's hard to pick like what's going to go viral or what's not. John Zerka, how much time in your life have you spent watching Fox News? Uh, I mean, it's still controlled opposition, right? It's still like, they still do this, you know, I don't know about trans people, but we're Christians and it's okay to be gay. And I'm like, what the fuck? Like, even the conservatives, but now to be conservative, you're gay. You have to be gay. No, no, I'm saying to the conservatives don't have a problem with that. They're like, oh, well, fuck the Bible. And I'm like, yo, how is this the conservative side? Right. Like, which side is going by the good book? So you're anti-gay. I'm not, I mean, we all sin, so I'm not, like, going to put them in jail. But I'm not going to fucking go to a fucking preschool and show rainbow flags and say, yo, do this. I'm not going to start fucking with kids and shit. Why do you instantly have to go to the kid thing? We're, That's what we're they talking do. about adults, they got, the, they got these trans uh, preschool shit. What's it called? But this is just such a consistent thing, is that we're talking about adults and adults making their own choices about what they want to do with their life, and then you instantly have to turn to, like, kids because kids don't control their own lives, and obviously it would be fucked up to be imposing this weird gay agenda on kids. But, like, why do we have to pivot out of that right away? Why can't we just talk about adults making decisions about their own lives? I mean... Because everybody knows that adults should be able to make decisions about their own lives and nobody has a problem look look the, look you in can, 2023 no, nobody no, no, has no, no, a problem no. with gay people being married no with no each you other. can be that's gay. a problem for the right you can be gay but when you have every piece of mainstream media yo give, give us some breathing room bro what the for every single netflix and everything gotta be gay 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 bro can i have one jesus story can i have like any give me a give me a fucking crumb every channel gotta be you guys you guys have you have all the money in the world you won Give me one fucking channel. I turn on Fox News, and then we see Jeffree Star, and I'm like, what the fuck? Wait, Fox <laughs> News is pro Jeffree Star? Yeah, they are. Jeffree Star was just put out a controversial rant saying that he doesn't appreciate the they-them heterosexual culture. Wow. Look, the they-them thing, I'm an idiot. So when, when society said, I'm going to give you homework, you're going you're gonna to go learn what a they is, you're going to learn a Z, I don't want fucking homework. And I'm not going to go fucking learn. I'm never going to learn that shit. You expect me to learn that shit? I'm going to remember Z, they, this. I don't even know what this one is. I think he's a he. Yeah. Kind of hard to believe with that hair color. but Thanks. I feel like I'm the only one shouting. <laughs> <laughs> Do you feel like that a lot? <laughs> um, I feel like we got we to gotta talk to her more. So... Did you start to first get attention on TikTok by talking about relationships or, or what was your entry point into this scene, if you will? Yeah, I kind of blew up on TikTok, like satirizing fresh and fit and like red pill content and doing, I don't know if you saw any of those skits or if you just saw the fresh and fit. I seen a few skits, but. Turn the volume up. <laughs> what, you don't think he's loud enough? I can't hear shit. <laughs> I'm an old man. 
Yeah, maybe I'll drive the mic in a little bit, I guess. But uh, okay, so that's how you got into it. How old are you? Twenty three. And what you just like were really interested in sort of probing into this <laughs> dating world and making content about it? Or <laughs> <just> fucking asshole! <laughs> Shut up. Keep, go. You should fight him. Yeah, true. That's you're the Why one. You Why your you, own you, security guard? You know what's funny? He's dressed like a conservative. <laughs> I'm. I. Are you okay? Yeah, okay. This is the average Black Rifle Coffee Co. Yeah, employee. this is. I'm looking for that Black Rifle sponsorship. I'm not getting Bro, sponsored that, by anyone else anytime soon. Adam, that's exactly my point. What's that guy's name? Crowder? La- Coward? Stephen Coward. Crowder. They give us, as the big conservative, the dude that puts on a fucking dress. He wore a dress? He's the biggest conservative channel, and he wears a dress. And you know how like white boys love to... Pretend to be women and when shit. When Stephen Crowder wear a dress? He does it for his skit sometimes. He does, of like trans he does it shit. all the time and he's the biggest channel. And they're like, yo, Zirka, go watch that. I'd rather fucking join ISIS, bro. What the fuck are you talking about? I got to watch this guy in a dress and pretend he's with Christ? I mean, I don't... Like, would you not say that you feel like your ideological allies with Stephen Crowder? I mean, he might have no, wore a dress no, for like a no. skit on YouTube for like 10 minutes. It just doesn't... His, his temperament is gay. Like, hey, what the... You know, his temperament's gay. So it's like, bro, you're not really on our... You know, you're not representing us. I like how he the wears the, the two-strap gun thing while he's like broadcasting <laughs> from his office. That's pretty hard to me. He's a psyop to make us look horrible. We had Alex Jones and they fucking killed him. <laughs> They didn't kill him. Like character assassination, right. completely one billion dollar lawsuit. Alex Jones was our last hope, and now we have nothing. What I wanted to ask is, how do you feel about the fact that it's looking quite likely that Fox News might have to fork over something like one and a half billion dollars because of their smears of the Dominion voting machines? I don't really give a fuck. Fox News, CNN, they're all owned by. Oh, so you're anti Fox already? All mainstream media. Is garbage. The question is, is if the the average Fox viewer is going to have any sort of like moment of reckoning of realizing like, oh, well, they paid one and a half billion dollars. Maybe they actually don't have my best interests in mind when they're no. telling me these crazy no. things. It's all it's there's always like once you go down this road, there's always like a reason why everything happens. If something good happens, it's because the establishment wants it to happen. If something bad happens, only it's one of us, set up, like only one of us is known in the last two years for predicting everything. You've been predicting everything for 10 I got, years. I got, I got rich predicting everything. <laughs> well, okay. Doing so, what? Oh, I talk about what's coming, right? And I forgot what I was saying. I haven't slept. <laughs> you got rich predicting everything. Is this like the Alex Jones thing where everybody can say, look, he predicted this, but he's just been like talking nonstop yes. for 20 yep. years, so exactly. he's kind of said if I, if I say enough... Some shit sticks, you know? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, but I, I feel like you can kind of feel when they're going to push us to war. Like, remember when they started giving us big Hollywood budgets, war movies and shit, and then boom, Iraq happened. Like, they kind of prep us with Hollywood, mm-hmm. right? Uh, or like Avatar, the biggest budget. The, it's pretty much blue, gay, liberal, environmental agenda. Oh, and diversity. Like, oh, it's the diversity agenda. It's like... It's exactly his religion, his ideology, his dogma, but at the highest budget of Hollywood. You're telling me they've never made a fucking movie on the Bible? Revelations with hornets and dragons. They've never once made that high budget movie, but they give us that gay ass blue movie? What about like the Passion of the Christ or probably Garbage. untold? You, seeing Jesus of get the whipped years. the whole fucking time is a psyop. I haven't seen it. Who but... gives a fuck about Jesus getting whipped? The point is the resurrection. Well, it's very it's popular a... with Christians, though, right? Garbage movie. I like Mel, but garbage. Like, you think that that there was like special effects and they put a lot of money into that? No, they didn't. It would take a lot to make a movie that was like the plot of the Bible. It's a the, pretty the, sprawling. The plot book, was right? whipping a Jewish guy. That's the plot. But if you gave it to me and James Cameron. I'd be like, give me all that CGI you put for that gay ass Avatar movie. And then the seven headed dragon comes. We're going to do a CGI seven headed dragon. And kids watch this movie like they watch Avatar and they go, oh my God, maybe, maybe I'm not going to get STDs, fucking ugly bitches. Maybe I'll read my Bible and they'll start making better choices. Remember in 1950s when people didn't look mentally ill? Bro, t- go watch Twilight Zone. Do you know Twilight Zone? And, p- and put TikTok next to it. Bro, it's like fucking. And just normal people, they're like, hello, how are you? How the fuck did we go here? Highest depression, anxiety we've ever seen. Burnt down cities, everything. 
And like, how many people got to kill themselves until we go back to the Bible, right? And Adam, I spent my whole life fucking bitches at clubs. Mm-hmm. Like, I'm this the sinner. In the club. You wouldn't take them home. I didn't have a home. I was like, broke. But <laughs> I'm, saying, I'm saying, don't look at me like, oh, this guy grew up with some Christian parents. No, I didn't. I went to that because I'm like, yo, I need, I need peace of mind, bro. I, I got to stop fucking bitches, doing drugs, all this shit. And I'm not saying I stopped. I'm saying I limited it. I limit it, you know, with the Bible. I just limit it. But is that what Jesus wants? He wants you to just sort of slow down on the coke and whores? He wants better looking whores. Mm. Because check this out. If you reproduce with better looking people, there's more inspiration in society, right? When you go around LA, like not to attack you guys, but it has changed. Like it used to be like good looking people. Now it's a little different. Like I was at LAX. (laughs) You know what I mean? The people were ugly. You like them? I mean, people, I don't want to do it to your own whole, city. I don't, don't want to. I don't, I'm not from here. You can say whatever you want. Well, you're not from LA. I'm from New Hampshire. You're from LA. No, I'm from Omaha, Nebraska. Yo, LA people are ugly. That's what I'm trying to say, Adam. That's They're, why we get along because we're from total random ass places that nobody knows anything about. No, you guys get along because you're stoners. He's not a stoner. I'm not a stoner. I smoked a split Bro. while he was sitting right next to me, and he got so high that he got his ass handed to him by a bunch of Christians in a debate. Not really, but he, where do you, where do you he, stand? He politically? seemed a little bit. Adam, you you, had can, a hard time. you could chill with Destiny, like go to a wedding and shit. Well, I invited him to my wedding, I guess. That's real. I'm not sure how serious it was, but I don't know how serious it is. If he wanted to go, it would be sick. I would love having to explain who it Bro, was. Bro, if my you mom. want me to go, I'll bring Melina. It's like an easy vacation. Yo, I'll come because I, I need I need clout. <laughs> I need fucking clout. I'll come. Is there part of you that wants him to cook you? <laughs> no. <laughs> what the fuck? Just, I don't know. I've had it. No, I've, that's a hard no. Check this out. He's yeah. an intimidating. I'm not into cuckoldry. Oh, really? No, I didn't know that. not that there's anything wrong with that if people are. He stays in the living room. No, but Adam, <laughs> yo, Adam, Adam, <laughs> check this out. Adam, I know Melina so well. She's a darling. Right. And he's in an open relationship. Melina and I, best friends. Like, well, she doesn't like me because I, I attacked her once, but I was like fucking tired or something. I was just rude. But I'm saying it's my Christian nature. I wouldn't do that. I wouldn't to forgive t- his wife. I wouldn't touch anyone's oh, wife. I wouldn't touch right. anyone's wife. What if he asked you? I have in the past, but it's a bad feeling. You know, when mm. you get I've done weird shit. I've done I've I've sinned. You've sinned. Oh he's yeah. sinning. <laughs> we've 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 been there. I feel like you are always writing your next TikTok in your brain. Like what what oh, what yeah. kind of inspiration are you getting from him here? He's crazy. Like what? Which part? That's gonna be a killer. Which TikTok. part? Was it the CGI? <laughs> yeah, I didn't understand the point of any of that. Do you have a big following? No. She has 1.4 million on TikTok. And what are you talking about? Dating. Like advice? Um. Yeah, I guess. Who pays, men or women? I, I don't give dating advice. I kind of just talk about like dating contradictions. So just debunked her. <laughs> <laughs> but if you wanna like make it far in the dating landscape, become a person online who talks about dating. And then Fresh you, you're really sort of just inviting that kind of energy, right? Is that how it works? You just have like untold amounts of guys coming out the woodwork to, to holler at you and it, it increases. Because I talk about dating. Yeah, it, like it must increase your amount of people hollering at you, right? Yeah, I think a lot of people don't pick up that satire. So they're like, oh, she gets it. Mm. Like the, I should have multiple bitches and she should just have me. So I get a lot of guys. Have you guys fucked? Team. No. I'm a virgin. Oh, what the? Oh. <laughs> it's funny because I said she looked underage. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ. All right. Edit this one out. Adam, help me. No, 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 no. no. <laughs> that was great. Great content. Um, yeah, everybody. Th- there's just like a few things that people can't help but bring it up. With Destiny, it's like the, the open relationship thing just is the fucking elephant in the room that everybody loves to bring up with you. It's fucking crazy. It's, yeah, but it's dumb because people think that like every single time I'm on a show, I'm in a community, they think that like, oh my God, like I'm going to get this guy. Like, <laughs> He's never heard I'm going to fuck your wife. Yeah, and it's like, I've heard this a million fucking times. Like, obviously, it, I'm okay with the lifestyle because I live it. T- I could date somebody else or t- I could just say, we're not going to do this. But, right. Um, yeah, but it's funny because everybody always, there's, there's like four or five things in my past where people bring it up. It's like, what about when you did this? I'm like, 2014. And I'm like, yeah, it was eight years ago. Right. Like, yeah, I don't know. To be funny. honest, I don't know if it's cuck because he's out fucking bitches. He's not like, cuck, a cuck has a fucking seat. They watch. He's like, they do their own thing. So I don't know what you call that one. I mean, it's an, an open, open relationship, relationship yeah. right? Just what it's called, right? Bro, even if I, 
if I meet a girl at the bar, she if I say if you talk to one dude <laughs> after talking to me ever, yeah, because I'm like <laughs> the bitch got all this makeup on and shit. Right, she gets me, and she's gonna flirt with that guy too. So the first five minutes, I'm like, yo, I'm jealous, and she's like, bro, I just met you, but it, <laughs> but I I always walk away. I leave them alone, and then they look at the bar and they go, okay. <laughs> From my experience, a girl really doesn't want you to be possessive or jealous until she's kind of like allowed you in enough that that would be a reasonable response. Every woman's fetish in history is to be put in a fucking birdcage and told to shut the fuck up. Every (laughs) bitch wants to be dominated. Adam, 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 I swear to God, working at clubs six nights a week, I was a computer... I love how that has really told you everything that you need to know. About five life. years, five years straight wouldn't shape you. But you're fu- exposed to a very specific group of people at the club. Don't Wrong. You think? No, I was, Wrong. Fu- I was fucking yeah. paralegals, yeah. lawyers, doctors, surgeons. I fucked all of them. I fucked the nerds. At, all at, at midnight, and they're all drunk and on coke. No, somewhere you get a different version of people. Somewhere, right? somewhere, six p.m. events like fiesta, mm. like wholesome shit, some Mexican shit. I like, I, I like Latina. Yeah. That's yeah. I had a lot of that. A lot. And now, <laughs> and now, but but here's what I'm saying. I'm saying, what the fuck was I saying? <laughs> I don't think any of us know. Just how much pussy you got over the years at the yeah. club, I guess? I regret it, Adam, because when I look back at these bitches' profile pictures, man, they're fucking broke losers, and they're, they weren't even hot. I just had good blow. Dude, they're not hot, and I gave them dick, and they tell people, oh, fuck John Zirko and shit. What the fuck was the point of that? And now I realize you got to become someone, and then... You can play and shit. I think being a club bouncer is pretty dope, though, because you're kind of, like, anonymous, and there's probably a lot of girls who do want to fuck you, but you don't really have to deal with all the bullshit that, like, a public figure has to deal with. As the bouncer, you're able to really kind of blend in. I stared at people for five years, and I'm like, (laughs) I'm like, yeah, I'm staring at people. I'm like, what makes this guy get the hottest chick here? And I noticed it was always temperament. The guys who were like this. Like not getting jealous within the first five minutes of meeting them? No, no. The guys who were like all angry and shit all had the baddest bitches. And the guys like high-fiving each other. Hey, what's up? Their bitches were all cheating. And I was like, yo, they respond to like that temperament. Because I used to be a gamer and shit. And then, uh, and then I did a lot of steroids and coke. And, and uh, rat poison. Uh, it was this. Rat poison? I, I don't want to say on your podcast. There's this. Uh, I used to bodybuild. You've never done rat poison before? I did rat poison and dynamite for a bodybuilding show. And I did did the biggest death cycle. And I sent it to Derek, more plates, more dates. Uh You know him? I'm on his uh, cum supplement right now, yeah. Yeah, Gorilla Mind. Uh, Use code John, 10% off. Gorilla Mind. Or Destiny. You have a code? Get the fuck out of here. I was thinking of asking him if they did brain deals. Who the fuck would buy protein from you? Why not? It's all the same shit. They have a bunch of Wait, stuff. What? They have like mushroom pills that are supposed to make you have weird dreams. I feel like he would probably be better at pushing those. Yeah. Wait, is it the same shit? We it's get the same shit. Canute would get the same as us. They I make like twenty so, yeah. different products. I would, I'll never promote to that stuff though, like neurotropics and shit. Oh really? No. You don't like that? I don't believe any of it works. Really? Yeah. They just did a launch, and I was like, if you want me to, I need to see like studies. What about beta boosters? You ever looked into that? I hear that some of the poker pros do this shit, and it's like supposed to just make your mind work better for a period of time. Until I see a study, I don't, I'm like, I'm the, a liberal. Right? The only two drugs that <laughs> the only two drugs that make your mind work better is modafinil, but it's like for narcolepsy. Adderall, right? These are proven through the dopamine effect that you. Know, if you watch like, uh, let's say Game of Thrones, like, what, what do you guys watch? What's your favorite? The show? Last of Us. The, v- the video uh, game? Well, the show. I just it's a TV I, show. I'm, I'm fully caught up on it. And really what they made a show? It. Yeah, I didn't even know it was a video Don't game. Don't watch with it. Ellie. One of the episodes will make you really mad. Is it with Ellie? It is with Ellie. Yeah. Oh, she becomes a lesbian. Well, and there's two gay guys for a whole episode. The whole episode. They fuck each other and everything. Yeah, I'll check it out. See if there's any Freemason symbols and shit. Well, you know what I was thinking about <laughs> is that that episode would have been really different if it wasn't a gay couple, because you can imagine that if a woman was like showing up starving to this guy's compound, that we probably would have a hard time perceiving it as a mutual consensual relationship. Whereas with two gay guys, you're kind of able to think of them as being on the same level. Yo, oh, that's a really good point, actually. You yeah. know what I don't get about gay guys is like, <laughs> yo, check this out, <laughs> right? Yeah, I was trying to imagine that episode from the lens of like a, a non-gay relationship, and I was no. You don't even have to be non-gay. Like, think about it. Where are the fucking brakes? Who pumps the brakes in a gay relationship? Because like with the girl, 
she pumps the brakes. She's like, yo, I don't know if I want you to put that fucking rod up my ass or whatever you guys are into. And yo, check this out. With a guy, like that's the boys shit. There's no brakes. You could just like, you could just keep going, going. Have you ever been to a gay club? It's pretty crazy in there. It's not, it's mild. I've been I've been to a gay club. I've been to some gay clubs. It's at, nothing of how I they say it the is. Door, it's not like people making I saw shit. five fat men with their shirts off doing a conga line. Is that that crazy what? in the grand <laughs> scheme of everything you could see? Yeah, they just so clearly were intending to fuck the shit out of each other. And oh. I've even I've heard from a lot of guys like using the bathroom at a gay club and then just getting assaulted, having their booty just like gently touched in the club and shit. Jesus. There's only I think only one percent of the world's population is actually straight. Because most most men would suck a cock for a million dollars. Does and that make you not straight? One hundred percent. Because people like me exist. I do a, ton of, exist. I do a ton of shit that I don't want to do for a million dollars. Oh no 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 no! Hold on. Did you know that if you fuck for over six minutes? I forgot. What that's gay. That's gay. No, if you fuck a girl for more than six minutes without coming, that bitch is ugly as fuck. Or you're not into chicks that much. Or it's probably like round three. But I'm saying round one? Round one? People are lasting more than six minutes? How would you explain the porn dudes who are able to fuck some of the hottest chicks out for, They all, they're all hours? I know all of them. Manuel Ferreira, <laughs> all of them. They all DM me. You know how many times in porn, it just, they not quick? Like it was an accident. Oh, we fucked up the shot. It happens. You know, if two people want each other, right? So I'm saying, because they're hot, right? From my experience, porn dudes have way more of a problem with not being able to come yeah. at some point or not being able to stay hard That's rather the than drug, coming though. too quickly. That's the drugs they're taking. Well, sometimes maybe. Yeah. I think the only porn drug that I could see being really effective is DHT, like testosterone, but DHT, right? I don't think testosterone is a good idea if you're doing porn. Well, to be honest, what? What I did I did testosterone back in the day, and it made me like the horniest fucking person on earth. So maybe it would I, be I'm good. saying DHT. It's like called provirin, and inc increases the cum load for the shot for the money shot, right? The locked and loaded. That's what I'm taking for the cum supplement. Have you used that? Does it work for you? I've been taking it, but I think that I need to really get some standardization to my ejaculating. So I'd, I'd like to get like a scale, and every time I beat off, I do it onto the scale and weigh my load. I feel like I get. I did two bottles of that. I feel like well, it, I don't get this. Why you don't, don't you think just, it's anything? Why not fake the load? Like make some whipping cream and shit, like Hollywood. <laughs> Wait, hold on. You don't. You didn't notice any change in your load? Not much. No. Mm, that's what I'm. I dreading. feel like it, for guys that want to come a lot, there's like three things. One is time since last orgasm. Yeah. It's big. Um, second is like how long you're horny for. Mm -hmm. So if you're like messing around with a girl for like oh, yeah. six hours, that'll right? do it. Yeah. Um, and then third one is lots of water if you're like dehydrated you're not ever gonna i think those are like the three factors that like when i control for those three things it's the difference between like a little spurt versus like fucking like five ropes of like shit I think wait but you're, I guess. you're not filming it so why do you care you don't know that oh for, for that you, is a reasonable Adam, question though yeah i do porn so it kind of well i think girl, i think care. i think i think there are a decent number of girls i guess depending on who, who like it too because it's like flattering it's like you know, if he comes one rope, he doesn't like me that yeah, much. But, but it's like four or five. He's like, oh, that's if so my cool. girl was like, oh, I want you to take these nine pills a day so you can come more, I would be like, what? But when it's on camera, it seems kind of reasonable. Sure. No, no, yeah. I don't know if I would supplement for like personal life. You know what I would do? Uh, you seen those commercials? How they make fake burgers bigger and shit? Oh, how they make the the fake the, the photos like a fast food place yeah. or whatever? They have to make the food out of they non make yeah food they make items. make clay and all this shit. I would for that money shot where you shoot it on her face, just to get the camera to get closer. You dick gets out of the shot and have someone squirt and then put your dick back in the shot that same second, and then you get the fakest load ever, highest views, and your dick goes back in the shot. I think realistically, unless you the want problem, the shot, yeah. Realistically, right? the problem is one: if you don't see it come out of the dick, people are gonna think it's fake. And two, a lot of people do use fake cum, but like it's hard for but whatever reason. It's hard to get the consistency and everything right because when people use fake cum, you usually can tell really. Steve, quickly. Steve, they they think. Uh, People know YouTube videos are fake. They still click on them. He would make way more money with my strategy. Way more. Do you think Mr. V Mr. Beast would get less views if people thought that he was faking everything? Well, no, I'm talking about those uh, prank channels. They were all fake. And they all made millions of dollars. I think that watching prank channels is kind of like watching wrestling, where you just sort of know that at a certain point, this is just not real. Uh, But the thumbnail is porn. So for you, I think it would make sense, right? Do you want to be on Plug Talk? you want to do porn for me? What what I gotta do? Fuck. I can't fuck at all. <laughs> Adam, I swear to God, my whole life, all those women I've been with, I didn't fuck any of them. All head. I just get head. 
all my life. I, Why? I used to be afraid of like STDs and shit. And I had like, yeah, I had a weird upbringing. Like, uh, like I didn't trust people. This girl's going to tell someone. You know, I was just a paranoid guy. And so I'd just get head, 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 head. So I can't fuck at all. And he doesn't eat pussy. So it's one way oh my God. every single time. What a life. The best arrangement possible. You want you don't want to know what the vagina feels like on your dick because I, I promise it's a great feeling. There's a reason why your body has almost been trained for millions of years to enjoy this feeling. I mean, even with the camera, how do you perform if someone's there? You know what I mean? I don't give a fuck. Who cares? But you do you do home your own home or do you do professional like Both. the whole? Is it different? I could fuck my girl right here in front of you and it wouldn't bother me at all, except for the fact that you'd probably be laughing. It would probably make it awkward <laughs> if you were stoic. We'll get you headphones and prove it. I, I, I would rather you have headphones. Could you imagine if we did a video where he's doing that and I'm just praying in the background and I'm like doing everything I can not to open my eyes? Dude, you know cuck porn is pretty popular? That Wait, that doesn't even grow my channel. If I'm in porn, how does that affect my channel on You Twitch? could put the URL on the wall. Put your, your plaque on the wall no if i go porn i would be dead set just porn right i would love for destiny to make an appearance in a porn film like you live in florida so we could just holler at bang bros and have it be like a cuck scene where, De <laughs> where destiny's the one sitting there that watching. totally sounds like something would be great but don't, from my reputation. your girl, your girl doesn't need to be there but like it would just be you on the couch just watching Yo, good. we're being sexist as fuck bro we're not being inclusive we right need to well ask we, we'll, we'll get here and hear more, but the, the, like, cause like, okay, last night I clicked on a scene when I was beating off momentarily before I went to bed, and it's like in the thumbnail it was just this chick getting fucked by two guys, and then when I actually clicked it, it was that plus an old white guy sitting in the corner watching, which I really wasn't expecting when I clicked on this. Mm -hmm. it didn't like fuck up the experience for me or anything, but it was kind of. For you, it's not my ideal vibe. For you, since you had your podcast, porn makes you rich, right? Like it amplifies you right it's a cool business yeah because a lot of porn stars don't make that much but you're killing it with only fans a lot of the popping girls are making a shitload of money these days have you said how much you made no i i, I was told by someone he said oh, it was manuel ferrer right he, he said this is a good <laughs> buddy of mine him. no 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 this is not bad right uh you should definitely have him on that would be great okay but he uh he yeah, said he's a legend. yeah he said even if you can't fuck, even if I, cause I was, I'm, I'm not going to have videos. I would have clips, bro. I'm not in like 10 seconds. I said, I'm not going to make money doing that shit. Even if I did it, he said, because of who you are, you'd, and he didn't want me to. He's like, he's just telling me, I asked him how much money on my podcast. And he said, you'd have a Ferrari in two weeks. I said, bull dick. How much is a Ferrari? Like 250K, right? You think you're going to make a hundred plus I said a, a, a week? On OnlyFans in your first two it's weeks John there. John fucking Zerka. No, no, no. But what no, kind no. Of question is no, that? no, no. It's not, it's not off the, the question. Name. Is how many Ferraris is going to be? No, no. Get? He, he, <laughs> what he meant, what he meant was, he said the whole industry, OnlyFans and stuff. Those girls are your best friends. So you'd have infinite, infinite money. But people who join the industry, they don't go on rod shows to meet those girls. Like we know all of them. We know every fucking porn star on earth, right? We met all of them because they're all on Twitch, right? This is the thing is that it's easy for girls to get people to subscribe to their OnlyFans. But if you're a guy, it's like, I've heard that like 80% of your fans are going to be gay dudes, and they're going to be making very specific requests. They're going to want you to tickle your balloon knot on camera. They're going to want you to probably put some shit in your balloon knot. They're Hold gonna, on, wait, what the, the fuck, fuck, is, fuck a is a balloon knot? Is that asshole? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. You never looked at Yo, your asshole and man. thought, damn, that looks like a balloon knot. It's never come to my mind, me. but, okay, uh, but gotcha. we're going to like, basically like I, I was talking to a young male porn star the other day. He said, he's like, you know, yeah, the, the incentives are all there for him to be jamming he's stuff right. down his throat and getting fucked. In no, the he's ass right. And I first, my first day I did half a million views overnight. I'm like, look at all the pussy I'm going to get. I open all my Snapchats from girl names dudes jacking off to me and pictures of me and shooting nut and i keep opening looking for a woman i'm like there gotta be a bitch in here i go through all these and then i'm like what the fuck like they just you know we got a lot of people who watch us and they just you know enjoy themselves so i think it's in every i mean what are you what does it say about you that you couldn't have a public ex appearance without getting all these penises sent to you because like me and him we've had plenty of viral moments and i've never felt like damn 
Wow. You didn't open. I wish people would just stop sending me their dicks. <laughs> you didn't. You didn't add strangers. I was. I was like. I had a complete loser. So when, like, thousands of people send me friend requests, I was like, dude, my life changed in one hour. I added all of them. Right. I'm like, yo, my life. And the people are like, bro, that's the weirdest shit I've ever seen. But I was like, alcoholic, like loser. You can just make it so people can add you, and you don't have to add them back on Snapchat. You're no, now I'll never add a fucking follower. Like, oh. Get the fuck away from me, bro. What the fuck? But back then, I was like fucking lonely. I'd stay on Omegle, and I was talking to some fucking dude about going viral. And he's like, yeah, man, I believe you. I talked to that stranger for four hours. Right? He was broke. I was broke. We wanna like, we were the most depressed dudes. Never saw each other again. That same week it happened. I was like, whoa, shit. Because I tried a prayer. I was like, man, this pray prayer shit is so fucking gay. So fucking gay. I'm trying one. I'm trying one. Don't do it in a gay way. Do it in like, uh, make sure. Because I was showering. Way. I was showering. I'm like, make sure my dick's soft. <laughs> it's clean. It's pure. And I'm like, make it long. Make it 10 minutes. I want to go viral on YouTube. Right? And I was high as fuck on New Year's. Right? On a Zodiac alignment. Like this. And then nothing happened. And I bought a $300 computer. I was so broke. $300 computer. $300 Canadian. And I'm like, I should make like YouTube and stuff. Zero followers. Started going to Omegle, drinking, calling everyone. I was so angry. I was like, fuck you, ugly bitch. Bro. And it was funny to them. So they're like, you should go on a show and roast these people. And I'm like, what? And they put me on. And I turned to my brother. I'm like, he's like, no one goes viral off that show. Like, you're fucking. It's like 20,000 views and they use people. I'm like, watch. And I pull a fucking gun on the camera. Oh, yeah. That, I, remember yeah. I saw this. Yeah. And, and you were hitting the bong, uh, the bowl too. Adam, they, they banned me, blocked me, and I was like, my life's over. What's I've, wrong with pointing a gun at the camera? It's not like you could shoot them through the camera. But the point is, the prayer worked. I spent like 24 years of my life miserable. The prayer fucking worked. I, and I've been afraid to pray. I love my life. So I'm like, I don't want to ask for more shit. But the prayer fucking worked. And people think like, nah, bro, that never happened. I've been talking about it for years. That prayer worked, bro. The prayer got you banned from... No, no. The shame. prayer got me to leave the club. Uh. The prayer got some random dude to click on me, on Omegle. In two seconds, he invites me on a show. If that didn't happen, damn. So that's why I go hard on this shit. Because it's not like I grew up with the Bible. I thought the Bible was the gayest shit ever my whole life. And then after that prayer, I was like, what the fuck? I've had a lot of good things happen to me in my life and a lot of bad things. And I don't pray, so I'm not able to, like, attribute them to different prayers or lack of prayer. But it seems like religious people are always doing that. Like, oh, I stopped praying for six months and then my grandma died. And it's like, I mean, there's probably other it's, intervals it, it, in which you didn't pray and which bad things didn't happen, right? 99% of prayers are void, null, empty, fake news. God ain't listening to you. I would but, say a higher number, but yeah. No, no. Most prayers are fake, but when you're at rock fucking bottom, bro, that's the one that works. I'm telling you, all my life, miserable, broke, blah, blah. First day on the internet, 6,000 donation. I'm like, what the fuck did I even do? $6,000? Like, yeah. From one person? Yeah. Who was it? Who cares? Was it fuck, I, I appreciate that guy, but like- Was it Mr. Girl? No, no, but uh, yeah, yeah. That's why I go hard for this shit. I hate people who think I went to some fucking Catholic school like this guy. I don't, I didn't read this shit. I hated religion my whole life. I right. thought it was the dumbest shit ever. And then when I started seeing people like, "Hey, you can fuck my wife," I was like, "Whoa, whoa, whoa! I gotta go this way, right?" That and drove you into religion. These guys went extreme, and there's I'm like, an in between. I think in between always, always gets pulled by them, or they get canceled. Them. If they chill with me too much. It's over. Why do you just blame all of society's ills on him? Because when I guess you he's, he's because got a good scapegoat, yeah. Adam, when you look at the progressive experiment, look how miserable people are. You think it's from the Bible? What the the Bible is? Where is it? It's nowhere to be found. So when we see all these guys, not him, his viewers and stuff, all miserable and shit, I'm like, bro, we're doing your way. We're doing the blue hair way for the last 20, 30 years. And you're 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 pretending like you're having no effect. You're on the misery on earth. You guys had no effect. There's no way. There's fucking no way. Respond to that. <laughs> what the fuck am I supposed to say? <laughs> Wait, can I grab a water? Yeah. Do you think 
do you think progressivism and like you know non-religiousness is is making people miserable? I think that the internet, I think the changes to our lifestyles have been very dramatic very quickly, and I think we're built for like the world we're in right now. Mm. Um, the world I think is changing too quickly underneath our feet. We have a really hard time keeping up. Uh, but the the argument for like going back to religion, like I don't know if there's ever been a time in all of human history where we've gone backwards to like find happiness. Like it just doesn't work that way. We're always on a like a forward march, basically. And people are so, always terrified of progress, of change, and, and everything, new you know. things mm -hmm. in general. You know? That's not true. That's not true. For thousands of years, the church is going away. Then it gets aggressive, right? They're like, oh, we don't want this blue, and it comes back and it goes. That's how it is. It's like but a religion's wave. on the decline big time in America over yeah, the last like, 30, 40 years, right? Yeah, but that eventually people are going to be miserable. I mean, look at post-COVID. We got good lives. The people watching us are broke as fuck. They can't buy groceries. You think those guys aren't going to God? Get the fuck. It's <laughs> us that won't go to God. We got all the fucking bitches on earth. We have all the sin to our fucking fingertips. Us, we're, you know, we're in trouble. Those guys watching, you think they're just going to stay in misery? Those guys are going to become fucking ISIS, bro. So you believe in heaven and hell? Absolutely. Absolutely. Can a porn star go to heaven? Absolutely. Really? What do I have to do? Got to fill out a form or something? Eventually you accept Christ, and it's not like words, you know? Eventually it's uh, like you stop trying to make your girl jealous. You stop doing this stuff, those invisible impulses. I think I already stopped that. You, stop, you, you don't ever fuck with her? Try to make her jealous? Like you never just start an argument for no reason? So, no, not really. Sometimes <laughs> Am I, think, I fucked up, bro? Sometimes I think I should. Sometimes I think if I were to like, you know, kind of like be a little more distant, give her some time, you know, make her feel like, because I noticed one time I, I got drunk on the podcast with a bunch of girls and I FaceTimed her and she, one of the girls was like rubbing my leg. And, well, when, when's and the that last was time? like a really good reminder of like, oh, you do love me because you just got furious at this girl touching me. It was nice. W when's the last time she cried? Uh, I don't know. No comments. <laughs> fucking personal this time. Holy I mean, shit. I don't when's know. the last time Melina cried? You, like Probably what'd you like do that? Ago, what'd you know. do that's stupid? Girls cry a lot. Let's yeah. be real. Well, we, my, girl. my life is complicated. Okay. I, I'm saying when I accepted Christ, I stopped doing like extra mean shit. You know, I was a mean guy. Now I'm like, I don't think I've ever done extra mean shit. That seems kind of. You're weird. just extra mean. And you have yeah, no idea. Yeah, that just idea. seems a little sociopathic. He just doesn't realize it. You, you, Me too, you never like poke and piss someone off fuck just for no. fun and ruin your life. Why the fuck would you make your own life shitty? You, so you never. She's eating a piece of toast loud, and you never go like, "Yo, bitch, shut the fuck up!" Like. No. No. She'd have to do something way more serious for me to say, bitch, shut the fuck up <laughs> in front of our child in the morning. <laughs> I mean, yeah, but but he is he's making a good point that like once you live with someone, once you've committed yourself to being with them, you know the saying happy wife, happy life. It basically just means like it's okay for you to be fake and just coddle your wife's feelings so that you don't have to deal with bullshit. It's Jesus gonna make... Christ. Okay, well, I wouldn't say it that way. Jesus. No, but, like, I mean, that's the intention of that saying, right? No, I think happy wife, happy life just means that, like, you want the people in your life to be happy because it probably is going to make you happy. So, like, if, you're, if your wife wants something and you want to do it, then she's probably going to be in our mood. But if you to do things I, you want to do, like, that's... I think the intention of it is that you don't need to, like, pick every fight. Yeah, you don't need sure. to, like, stand on every, like, literal argument that you could possibly have. Yeah. Because if you just go a little bit out of your way to keep your girl happy, it'll make your life... A but it's hard. Right? It's but hot. It should be, there should, it should be a two-way street with her as well, right? The problem True. is it's hot. You piss her off, then you guys fuck. It's hot. It's hot, bro. <laughs> Pissing her off is the best part. If I couldn't piss her off, why the fuck would I be around her? You know? Like, just to fuck with them. But if I piss my girl off, it's going to have a, 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 a real negative effect on the rest of my day as well. Dude, you're mature as fuck, Adam. <laughs> you're fucking I mean, you're I'm trying destroying to, me. I'm what trying to maximize trying my to? enjoyment throughout the day, right? So it's like, if I can do Why anything do you... to make her have a good day, and that's going to reflect on me. Now, granted, some people are kind of fucked up where you can make them have a great year, and that's going to basically make them want to sort of take it out on you in some way. But, you know, ideally, you wouldn't want to be in a relationship with that kind of person. I don't know. I like bullying people that live with me. <laughs> you pay the bills, you're not going to bully them? You get like a dog. They're bullying your credit card. You're not going to like fuck with her a bit. She's not bullying my credit card. Mine destroyed my credit card. Really? I've been financially abused. Because <laughs> I tried I tried this. My whole life I didn't pay for chicks. And then I'm like, you know what? I'm going to try to, you know, be a gentleman and shit. Bro, that kind of money, that's like Corvette money. That's like big money, dude. So 
Yeah. Keep an eye on your finances and don't let any woman bleed you dry. Yeah. Would probably be a decent piece of the advice. The problem is, just to get her to go away and stop talking, the credit card is like a magic tool. And that's the problem. Yeah, but, but that's like with my time, kid. It's like it's a magic tool to just put on fucking Lion King because she's gonna like get over whatever the fuck's going on. If I what? put on Lion King, but I'm kind of like training her to be a shitty person if I just constantly give her what she wants, right? You guys are probably like chilled. You guys, I, if you were like me, right? I need some stimulation. I need to come. I need therapy, bro. I need to talk to someone because I'm like, how I can I? I knew you needed therapy as soon as you told me you didn't like having sex. <laughs> I don't need therapy. I'm saying. If I chill with her and I don't like start being a little mean, I get really bored. <laughs> like, you know, I get really fucking bored. I know that impulse you're describing, and I think you, you got to fight against that. Yeah, because that's kind of like that. That's like the definition of just being a toxic dude, right? When you yeah kind of want to fuck with somebody's feelings for for fun. But I do it with everyone. It I sounds do it familiar. With buddies, but... I do it with everyone. So it's like, yeah, I have a, it's it's bad. It's but I, I overcame a lot of it. Have you done therapy? My twin brother is like a therapist, so he checks in on me. He's probably not the ideal therapist. Your twin brother. You kind of no, want somebody who's like disconnected from you. But the, no, he's the highest paid in the lower mainland, but everyone else, everyone. No, no, check this out. Adam, Adam, yeah. th all therapists are not the same. He told me after he finished his master's degree, plenty of rich therapists say to their clients, sometimes you just got to give yourself a hug. There's liberal therapists, so you could be fucked if you don't get someone like my brother. My brother's like the best. That's why I'm like, I'm not going to fucking liberal therapist in Vancouver, Canada. What the fuck? I'd rather hit up my brother. And he's like, you're beyond repair, but he's helped me out a lot. Like I, I used to just fight on the street on video. I used to like be totally weird. Freak show, like some, you know, like weirdo. And now, now I'm going to be the next big thing on the internet, and then jail, <laughs> like Andrew Tate. Where do you stand on Andrew Tate? 100% innocent. When in history have we believed a fucking hooker? Especially a hooker that on the fucking app, she's like, yeah, how much money are we going to make for that Netflix deal? That's some horse shit, bro. You want to make Netflix money putting someone in jail? That's what they're talking about? That doesn't sound like trafficking. That sounds like some horse shit. You've done a lot of research into this. Where, where do you land on He's uh, almost absolutely a sex trafficker. Yeah, one hundred percent. Unless he literally lies about every single thing he says online. Yeah. Yeah. I don't want to defend a pimp, but I'd rather take the pimp side than the fucking hookers. Those bitches try to stab me at the club. Pimps always were good people to me. You, you can't hookers judge. were the fucking worst people pulling out <laughs> knives. Have you worked at a strip club? They no. beat the shit out of each other. The the soft stripper, the so cute. They beat the shit out that girl. They get jealous. Dude, these are not girls. But bro. you can't these blame his hookers that were working for him for the actions of other hookers that you dealt with on the other side of the world, right? And plus, or can he? I can <laughs> for that text message. But the case is that he is sort of like coercing women into becoming prostitutes as well, right? Sure. I don't want to defend that. The lover boy I, method. I, I, I never right. knew about that. I don't want to defend that. I want to defend should he be in jail right now? I, I'm not like super familiar with exactly. It's so fucking weird. It's like. The, he probably should be in jail. Right? You think? Yeah. Like, oh, yeah. what's the biggest thing he should be locked up for? <clears throat> for sex. Well, I think, um, oh, God, I just did all this research for it. Um, the three things were, one was a rape charge between the four. I don't remember who that was exactly on. One was um, organization of a criminal uh, group. And then I think the third one, I think, might have been related to financial shit. I don't remember. But those are the three that he's held for. But we don't know how, how wide the investigation is sprawled until we see the actual charges. That Do you up. think he's really that outrageously rich off of Hustlers University? Outrageously rich? I, he probably exaggerates his money. There's I mean, a like, lot of stupid people out he there. Has, he's um, rich. He did. He did if, he, if he's to believe, he ran that webcam business with 75 women, and he was stealing like fucking 80% of the money from them. So I would feel like once the Hustlers University thing started kicking off, that the webcam business might become kind of an afterthought. It just seems like there's so much bullshit you have to deal with with having like 70 women working for you doing this bullshit versus like the Hustlers University thing where you're literally just emailing he, people PDFs. Maybe, yeah. Watch me get the viewer count up. Oh. He fucked up when he fucked with that Greta bitch. That, <laughs> that bitch is a globalist, Freemasonic, all that. He fucked up. As soon as he said that tweet, I said, really? The 
is that the Masonic darling that he's fucking with? And I went live. I'm like, this guy's a fuck. Even if they say he's psyoped and he's CIA as well, it's burn notice. They, you could be CIA, but the CIA cuts destiny tomorrow. They fuck him over and they put him in jail. He can't come out and say he's CIA because then people say you're a phony. So he, that's how they burn each other. So if Andrew Tate was CIA, like some of the guys are saying, then it, it would still be the same narrative, right? But he fucked with Greta is what a lot of people were speculating. Like, what do you think, Stephen? Did that have any no, effect? No, that had no effect. You think she the didn't Romanian, make a call? <laughs> the Romanian government arrested him and charged him with sex trafficking as a result of him insulting this like teenage girl. A lot of people are saying everything is gonna. <laughs> that's such a classic thing, though. They a are, lot of a people, lot of people are, saying. are saying it, though. You know, I don't want to. I don't want to say I believe that one. Right. You know, that's stupid. It seems it's like a, a lot. Like to flat Earth, the Earth is flat. But I don't want to believe that one because I'm like, it's it's how a little you, reach. How do you feel about Joe Rogan, who used to be a flat Earther, having come around on it like ten years ago or whatever? And did he and, really used to be a flat Earther? Really? Yeah, I think in the early days. You or, mean Moonlander? He, he was at at the very least very sympathetic to it. But I think he, he let that go pretty I early. mean, let's be honest. Or he might have never been fooled by the Adam, flat earth thing. Adam, I don't know. Adam. He, he definitely went for a lot of conspiracy Adam, theories early on. Who is Neil deGrasse Tyson? A, what, astrophysicist or some shit? He, that fat slob, agreed to debate Eric Dubay, the flat earth firmament guy, on Joe Rogan. And they deleted the fucking VOD. And he backed out of the debate. And then it got censored off the internet completely. How did he? How did they delete the VOD of something he backed out of? I'm saying it was scheduled for them to to debate. He was supposed to debate some flat Earth. The astrophysicist who agreed pussied the fuck out, and then they censored the whole topic. The most banned topic in history is flat Earth. That's why I let you have ten seconds of it. I don't want to hurt you. I feel you. like Joe Rogan's probably kind of embarrassed if he gave this guy too much credence. Well, then why did him. why did Neil deGrasse Tyson agree? Because there's this whole dynamic where if you platform somebody with, I mean, in this case, I wouldn't say it's like a dangerous viewpoint, but it's it's going to be very hard oh, to debunk on. shit when you haven't heard any of these arguments previously. An astrophysicist is pussing out. Yeah, I mean, I that's guess that's some fucking coward shit. You bro. could look at it that way, or you could look at it like it's an almost impossible task for like probably the same reason that somebody like Destiny wasn't really dying to like argue with election deniers after the election, right? Because it's like you know they're gonna hit you with five million different fucking arguments out of thin air. I don't know. You seem like you kind of go for it, but like somebody like Sam Harris has famously kind of but, not wanted to engage on a lot of this stuff. But the flat earther, he did not challenge them. They challenged Wait, the flat he earther. Just didn't show up no no the flat earther didn't like call anyone oh. they said let's bring him on they challenged him and then they looked at his content they're like oh fuck well i feel like neil degrasse tyson probably also he's like part of the scientific establishment there's probably like some pressure on him to not engage about certain topics yeah, i would think i don't know yeah maybe i doubt said, he's really like terrified of that argument i feel like if anything that argument's probably really kind of beneath him and Neil deGrasse Tyson said the Earth is an oblate spheroid. The guy's a fuck. What does that mean? Uh, he said the Earth is pear shaped. So he debunks the the NASA photos of Earth from space, the fake photos that are the Earth is perfectly circular, right? It's a sphere. He said it's pear shaped. Wouldn't they be able to prove that? Like, find an an angle to take a photo where it looks kind of pearish. Do you want? Pull, pull something up. You're going to love this. I think the way that this section of the podcast has been going is why somebody might not really want to Adam, Adam, it. I'll give you the funniest clip. Pull <laughs> yeah. up the YouTube. This You're going to love this. It's not going to harm your channel. I okay. wouldn't do that. I'm trying to get a job here. I'm not going to harm you, bro. Oh, really? Wow. I'm telling you, shouldn't he buy into me early before I pop off? You, do you live in LA? Yeah. What you, I got the job. <laughs> I live, bro. I live here. What the fuck? I do think that's it's definitely not the worst idea I've Adam, ever heard. Adam, I made money. But I hate setting up equipment and doing shit and talking to fucking employees. I fucking hate people. So I cannot do it alone. But you guys have everything. I think she me. should be your co-host. Yeah. Let's, let's do it. <laughs> <laughs> Just looks at the hand. <laughs> you know what's crazy, though, is I kind of feel like a phony. And I have to say it. She's the virgin. Allegedly. And I'm the conservative, you know. Isn't that how fucked up society got? Like, she's actually living correct, and 
Well, you've lived a hedonistic lifestyle and seemingly kind of turned your back on it. Where she's no, I haven't turned hold, my. I limit it. Out. I limit it, eighty okay. percent, so I don't go to jail. And weird shit. I don't stay with gangsters no more. I don't do none of that shit. Do you just have like an incoming hoe phase, or is it going to be straight from <laughs> like virginity to marriage? Holy fuck! It's all at once. I have an active OnlyFans right now. Oh, oh you're going to hell, bro! <laughs> what the fuck? What are you doing on there? Everything. Do you talk? <laughs> I guess you just gotta look and see. You be, you've looked at it? Not yet. No, why should I? Well, I haven't seen it, so I don't know. I'm trying I to always, I, there are a lot of girls that I meet, but I feel weird, like, because some girls would do OnlyFans. I feel we're like buying it. I'm gonna be <sighs> honest, I would, but I'm worried my name would show up. Like, how weird would it be if I would go to like hang out with you or somebody else and you're like, oh, I saw yesterday, like, you bought my OnlyFans? No, but I felt like that at first when I signed up for OnlyFans, but then you see the, the default username they give you is like user 196543. I made one to, for, it's a long story, but a friend wanted me to review hers on screen. So I made an OnlyFans account for, and I think I set my name as like Stephen Bonnell II. So it, you should change it or just not show your OnlyFans login on stream. Yeah, um, well, too late. But yeah, I mean, it, there's no way that they're going to be able to view your email or anything mm -hmm. because OnlyFans would never allow the creators to have access to the email Oh, yeah, list, true, because it know? would be potentially catastrophic, yeah. See, all I need to do to find out what she does on OnlyFans, though, is just, like, see what she wrote at the top because that's where the girls always kind of come clean. Like, if, if you read into it, you can pretty much tell what the most extreme stuff they'll be willing to do is. Bro, OnlyFans girls... You do dick ratings? Mm -hmm. I know someone who would like to purchase one. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, you know, you know what's interesting about like being Adam. How tall are you? Six three. Uh, I haven't seen your porn, so I haven't seen your cock. Okay. Yet, but yeah, check it's... this out. Be honest. When we're flaccid walking around, when you're a big dude, bro, that's a bad look. Yeah. For me, if I'm flaccid walking around my house, I go, bro, body to dick size. That looks like I got a clitoris, bro. You know what I mean? Yeah. I mean, I've never really thought about it, but I will say that one time uh, there's a famous hip-hop groupie named uh, Superhead, and Superhead said something about seeing Shaq naked, and she said that he kind of had that problem where he might have yeah. he might have had like a pretty regular-sized dick, but because he's a, a monster, it's just like it looks really small in comparison. You said Shaq, $100 million Shaq. Yo, he got caught on live. This is this is good. On for Omegle? You. No, he got caught live. This is just edit this part out. He got caught live. No, no, keep it in. The the part where I talked. Yo, I'm tired. Just check this out. Check this out. Keep, keep that you, off. You said take this part off so so it, it hits. This is such a good clip and put it on the YouTube. I'll send it to your guy. Okay. Shaq, what what is he known for compared to other basketball players? He has a hundred fucking million dollars. He's got way they say five hundred, they say billion. He's way more than everyone else. He was caught live on mainstream fucking media showing his Freemason ring. And the news guy goes, are you a Freemason? He says, of course I am. Of course I am. And they're like, is that a legal profession? He's like, of course it is. And you put that clip with your YouTube shit while I'm talking. And, you know, it's going to do great. Because I'm working on a documentary and they sent my team sends me that Shaq clip. And I'm like, Basket basketball players get into the Masonic <laughs> shit? What the fuck? I feel like I need to become an expert on the Masons now just so that I can argue about this when people bring it up to me. Good luck. That's kind of like a very destiny thing to do, though. I feel Not, like... This, yeah, this is too far even for me. I feel like, Adam, I don't think you are because you're not a mover and shaker check this out i feel like i kind of am no 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 shaq got billions bro billions yeah what does this dog shit podcast even make i bet you've never made a billion dollars in your life never made a billion adam, even close i know adam's people adam right now has 42 million dollars that would be so sick i would have a way sicker house someone told me you're at 42 right now did you that's google his net worth is that who told you i'm just making shit up <laughs> <laughs> No, but you're doing all. You're doing good. Thanks. You're the doing movers good. and the shakers, though. I used to want to make merch that said that on it. I feel like in 2014 that would have fit in very well in the streetwear. You know how culture. I knew Adam's doing good. I, when I met those OnlyFans girls, they living like in shoe boxes. I'm like, bitch, you're fucking broke. What the fuck? But him, because he had a podcast. Your life, like, you definitely went up. I know a lot of porn stars making six figures a month on OnlyFans. Yeah, me too, actually. But the problem is, a lot of them did. They don't work. They get lazy. 
Mm. Working with women is fucking impossible. If women just act like men for four to six hours a day, those bitches would have five hundred million dollars. I'm gonna put it like this though. The other day I had a dinner with like an OnlyFans manager who manages basically the accounts for like a ton of huge girls. And the thing about him is that these were regular girls, and he fucking finds them and he promotes the fuck out of them and he blows their shit up. And it's really crazy to see it because we do the OnlyFans management thing, but we're a lot more like hands off and. Uh, this guy, like, I brought up boyfriends. Like, I was just like, so what's the biggest pain in the ass in your day-to-day life of managing these girls? And he, he just goes, boyfriends. And you just see it in his eyes that he's just, like, had girls in front of him who could easily be making, like, you know, $10 million in a year. And they have some toxic-ass high school boyfriend that just is completely just throwing it's a stick like, in the spokes over and over and over. There's like infinite girls that have so much potential. Can I, one quick yeah. thing before he talks about Mason shit. Um, this is a, <laughs> one, of the, one of the biggest triggers and it's hard to, it's always hard to counter this because when you're on these red pill shows and shit, like it's all anecdotes, but like they always talk about how like women hunt for resources and women are always looking for high value men, et cetera, et cetera. And it sounds like you've had the experience, but I've known so many amazing women that are the most loserish fucking guys in the world. Yes. And it's like unfucking believable. What the fuck are you it talking about? Unfucking believable. How many of these like insanely attractive, yeah. like decently wealthy, like working girls it could be with like so many different men, but they're like hooked on this one guy that they've been back and forth with for like six years. Yes. So how like, are they? Good, how loser. are they a yeah. good woman? What do they do that's that made them a good person? Because they're attractive. Some of them are streamers. Some of them work hard. Some of them do excel in their field. It depends on who I'm talking about. But we know all the influencers, bro. If you're a woman and an influencer, you're a piece of shit. Bro. Sorry, you <laughs> just <laughs> sorry, you just literally said you need these guys to do a show for you because you can't even set up a fucking camera. Okay, how are you gonna shut on women for doing OnlyFans? Ooh, but they don't even do it. They quit to fuck their ex. They don't even fucking do it. They're fucking useless. Some of them do it. They quit. They go. They go f- four months, and they're like, "I have enough money for some IKEA furniture," and then they start going broke. The only ones that do good are the ones that get pimps. <laughs> you know what I mean, those ones with pimps are fucking. Rich I know a lot shit. of girls who are very self motivated with OnlyFans. Do you have a pimp? Um, I have an agency. Yes. Oh, well. I don't think that's what he meant. <laughs> I was thinking more of like just a no. Was like, is there a guy? That, that? <laughs> is there a guy that hits you if you don't put enough like photos on your OnlyFans? You Dude, not track. all pimps hit chicks, bro. Right, is there a guy that's that emotionally slander. abuses that's a pretty you? Pretty big part of it, though. So they don't hit you. There, the, there's, <laughs> there's pimps. Most pimps don't hit the bitch because they're good with their words. They're uh, spellcasters. They know what to tell the bitch to motivate her. The pimps that suck are the ones that hit them. The pimps that know how to motivate. It's different styles. You you can find some videos of pimps really like arguing about what the preferred style of managing a woman is, like ruthlessly beating the fuck out of her or treating her like more of a human. Which I wouldn't recommend like beating up any woman. Good, th- that's brave. bold. You know yeah, what I mean? very proud of you. That's what I, I draw the line. Record, I'll be anti women abuse. I'm too. getting yeah. the job today. <laughs> very bold. <laughs> now, that's yeah, a feminist yeah. right there. It, but it is weird. I don't know if I don't know. I'm, I don't know if we want to talk about it too much. But it is weird how many women want to get hit across the face. Like, bro, I met good girls, bad girls. They all say, they're like, you know, I wouldn't tell the police if I know when I'm being a bitch. I'm like, yo, what are you exploring, bro? Get the fuck out of my house. What are you exploring right now? You're talking about wanting to be abused or wanting to be hit in like a sexual manner? They think that it's trauma bonding. That's how fucking, you know, women, dog brain, they think it's trauma bonding, bro. They think it's trauma bonding, so they're like, I like this Zerka guy. If I could just get it more intense, if if we could beat the shit out of each other. That's how fucking stupid they are. If a woman asks you to hit her during sex, like how how hard are you going? Depends on what kind of hit we're talking about. Right, the, you would ask for clarification. Yeah, like, well, so like you want me to go full red, well, well, right hook? Because you've got on one end, you've got like fifty percent of girls want you to like spank their ass, but then on the other right. end of like getting hit in the face, that's mm-hmm. very 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 rare. I don't think I could do that. I don't think I would enjoy it. You know, no close fist for sure. You know, a woman loves you. Like when a man loves a girl, he goes, "Man, it's you, and that's it. Right, that's it." When a woman loves a man, she starts talking about rape play. She starts talking about hitting across the face. The sex gets crazier. It's like, bro, and I, I, I looked into it. I think it's a trust thing that they're, they're, they're like, oh, I trust him. He's not going to kill me. I don't, I don't know what that is. But then, then I got sad because I, I Googled it. Bro, 80% of women. I don't even know if these women, we can call women human after this. 80% of women, 80% of women 
have a rape fantasy? Oh, yeah, with their husband. No, bro, with a fucking stranger. If you Google what a woman is, 80%. 80%. What do you draw from that, though? That this fantasy is apparently kind of popular? I'm saying, does the man have the same one? Not really. Right. Like, men don't have fucking rape fantasies. But, so what Most are you saying? That women are just fundamentally deranged because they're some chaos. have this fetish? I read Freemasonic literature. I read 100 books, Adam, because I don't want to study chemistry and COVID and weird fucking shit. I want to study what they had when people were geniuses. Plato's. We, we, we learn from Plato, right? We, don't, we study Plato. We don't study the blue guy. My housekeeper keeps calling it play do, and now my fucking two-year-old thinks that's how it's pronounced, but really her, her English isn't that great. These philosophers all figured it out. They said the sun and the moon is the male and female, the passive and the active principle. She's passive getting fucked, and he's active hitting it. The male temperament, I'm getting a job, is active. The female temperament is, uh, I'm going to talk about, I'm going to talk to my chihuahua. They're passive. They don't do shit. And these guys all figured it out with gender, rhythm, polarity, everything. But it's all hidden. And now they teach us about fucking dinosaurs. Bro, a woman's, to be feminine, it comes from the word chaotic. That's what a woman is. Really? You're going to, you're going to. You're going to let someone, you're actually not going to boss her around if her nature is chaotic. I love That's how, crazy, bro. I love people who try to argue with you that, like, because a word derives from another word in another language, that that reveals the true nature of that word. Is a, very common. Is a male's nature orderly? Mm. Of course it is, because the ones that's not is in jail. We've already been in jail. The the civilians you see that are not in jail, they're orderly. They're just men. You need to have a, a good deal of order, I guess, to survive, yeah. Men are orderly. Women are chaotic. You give a bitch a million dollars, she'll be doing fucking fentanyl the next day. You give a man a million, he'll have two. Do you really think that? Because I, I, I feel like Adam, women... you're in the industry. How many bitches spend their money on stupid shit? Not most, from my experience. Bro, all the OnlyFans girls I know are basically just fucking losers who they, maybe they buy handbags and shit, but for the most part, they just save their money. Steve and, I, Steve and I got on a Discord call in tears, laughing at how these girls with 10 million followers live in a shoebox, broke as fuck. What? Hold on, don't include me in that. Years ago, we're like, yo, that girl has 10 million followers on Instagram. Bro, I don't know if you knew her, but uh, a lot of those Instagram, Instagram girls, they don't know how to manage their fucking Wait, money. Wait, who? Bro. Who were you going to say? I don't remember, but no. you've said it on your stream many times. I'm not putting words in your mouth. You've said a lot of girls who have 10 million followers, they don't have fucking Ferraris. Like, why, why would I say that when that's how I have a $40,000 Ford Focus RS? I, how many girls do you know with 10 million followers that aren't, like, they don't live, like, in a mansion? They bro. Prob <laughs> some of them don't want to, but that's probably better. That's a better lifestyle, right? Why would you yeah. waste all your money on a fucking I know mansion? some porn star girls who have nice cars, but for the most part, I would say the average one has, like, a Tesla or, like, a they pretty go basic on, car. They go on vacations for a year. Oh, I accidentally spent 200000 That's how they go broke. They don't know what they're doing. $200,000 vacation? You, you think they're fucking investing in Bitcoin? They don't do shit, bro. Women don't do shit with their money. That's why when they have a boyfriend, the boyfriend's like, yo, you should put it in here. Here, the boyfriend saves her ass, right? <laughs> yeah. I you sure the boyfriend them. isn't like, I, I say, found this hot new crypto coin that I've, I want to invest all your money in? Steve, I've always said to every girlfriend I had, put your money in my account. I, <laughs> I, I said, I bitch, I got you on Jesus' name. And then when they act up or do something disrespectful. You hold it over their head and take their money? Tax, I don't take. I mean... I, if you buy your girl Bitcoin and she inevitably becomes super rich, that's really kind of hurting your standing in the relationship, right? She leaves you. Yeah. She's that's gonna. a chaotic bitch. If she 10Xs her money, she's out. If you 10X your money right now, you will never leave Layla. You guys are fucking bonded <laughs> and shit, you know? <laughs> bro, if our bitches ever made a million dollars, we'd have to fuck each other, bro. It would be fucking over. And you're saying women aren't chaotic. Quiet, quiet, quiet. Am I the crazy one? Yeah, I, bro. you are, yeah. And you know what's funny, Adam? We'd have to fuck each other. We, Adam, you know what's funny? It's like, Do you think you'd hate fucking him? No, we're not ever fucking. <sighs> but do you think happened. if you had to, you would hate it? Well, you don't even want to fuck a pussy, so you probably don't want to fuck his asshole. I wouldn't. I would, if you said I have to fuck a dude. It would be him. I would kill myself with a smile on my face <laughs> on fucking, on live to get you the views, bro. <laughs> I swear to God, if I had to fuck a dude, I'd kill myself. 
that second, I swear on Christ's name, that fucking second, I'll kill myself. I'll kill myself live. I don't want to fuck a dude, but I would rather fuck a dude than die. Is that gay? The problem is, and I hate leaking this shit because people use it against me. But you I didn't. Dude one time? No, 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 no. I've ne- bro, I've never done no gay shit. But check this out. I've had those dreams, bro. <laughs> gay I, dreams? He thinks it's a joke. <laughs> bro, you've never had some fucking rapist come in your dream touch you? No. I've never had gay dreams in my life. <laughs> yeah, if you have gay no. dreams, that might be something there worth exploring. A gay rape dream? <laughs> a guy <laughs> raping me you in my dream. Do you have gay rape <laughs> dreams? No, bro. I'm saying I've been in dreams where a dude is like, with with a fucking AK-47 and they're all trying to rape my wife and then rape me and then murder us. I've had the most fucked up, coked out dreams and I was with Hells Angels in Vancouver. So I had the, I had pink. I had the best blow. So my dreams were fucking vivid. You had the Tusi? The one you could sleep on. Wait, what? You know, Tusi is the crazy ass pink Coke or whatever. Yeah. It's like Molly type shit. I don't think you can sleep on it though. I think it has meth in it. Have you had blow where you can eat on it? No, I've definitely had a lot of blow where I could not eat for a day or so. You're rich. You, you, there's blow that's so fucking expensive you can eat. Like it doesn't. It's not acid. It's I'm like, trying to lose weight. Your blow sounds like a great idea right now. No, you just snort blow and just not eat. If you want to lose weight, bro, Adderall is power. It Adderall is the most powerful weight loss drug. I feel like Adderall and meth because you're awake for 36 hours. You're probably burning more calories. You're not eating I don't think, ever. Yeah, but I don't think I could handle it in the long run. I think it would be really bad. Well, for I don't think lifestyle. you should abuse any drug Adam, in the long yeah. run to lose weight. It's probably not but a good even idea. Even Adderall in general, like I'm so fucking geeked up off the coffee in here most days that uh-huh. I don't really, I feel like Adderall would just be too much. It would be way too much because when I was training clients, they were taking steroids and stuff like that, and I would help them and stuff. The guys who took Adderall, and I didn't know what it was. I was with the pharmaceuticals. I know, I know hormones. I know fat burners. I was like, what is this? It's like a cognitive enhancer. I didn't know about Adderall back in 2016. And then I saw it wipes out appetite. It's an amphetamine, so you start moving and stuff. You feel good, so you want to work out. Adderall for, for fitness, I saw my clients gain way better bodies on Adderall than the guys on test who are overeating and getting a little puffy. Well, it's probably going to do a very no. different thing to your body, right? But on test te- is going to make you fucking huge and Adderall is going to just make you not eat and lose but weight. That, that's the thing that I found weird. I'm like, on the guys on test, they gain 20 pounds, even if they don't work out, just sitting, and they get beefier and stuff. The guys on Adderall, they were, even the fat guys were getting shredded because they were eating, they were like, I need my carrots, I need, you know, they were like tweakers. They ate everything off the plate and they wouldn't go to McDonald's. Everyone on testosterone, they would get fat as fuck and shit. Like all my clients on test got fat as fuck. We got to get you on the Ozempic shots. I, that shit is fucking powerful. I would not do it, but I heard That it's shit is insane. 500 yeah. fucking dollars, right? I heard it's like a thousand bucks a month or something, and they're trying to put all these little kids on it. Steve, there's this drug you poke it into you, diabetes and it, or a diabetic medication. Yeah. yeah, and you feel full. That the, the oh, you feel, this is a huge it's deal. Super like a month now. ago, yeah, they, like this company found out basically something that like, what is it like? You can lose like fifteen to twenty percent of your weight. In, yeah, in, yeah. On and average. there's like so the bad side ass. effects are like pretty manageable and everything. Yeah. yeah. So and you know you know why I love it. You know why I really love it. You're on it. No, no, no. I'm saying why I love when humans use drugs to lose weight because they're, I, I like natural, but I love the enhanced people because they, you cannot fight Kellogg's. Since five years old, you're eating that sugar. You're addicted to Kellogg's. These obese people are killing themselves with Cheetos. The least they could do is combat it with drugs that make them feel full, Adderall and stuff. Greek got X, fat ass. He lost like 500 pounds on Adderall. Let me ask you something. Um, can you give her a viral moment? Because typically, when she goes on Fresh and Fit, she's leaving with like seven, eight TikToks in the bag, and I'm kind of wondering if she even has one. Okay, throughout check this the out. course I'll, of this, so maybe you could you could help her. Out. I'll ask a question. Should women be able to vote? You're asking me the question. Yeah, yeah. Shouldn't I ask you? Yeah, I, I think fuck no. What the hell? Why? Because engineers, philosophers, everything in society is built by men. So it's like, why would you, how, how can you vote if you didn't 
You're not an architect. You're not an engineer. You're not a philosopher. You're not a technician. You're not a plumber. You didn't, you're not even a part of the fucking city, bro. Many women have jobs. So should you not well, be able to vote because you don't do any of that? Who's the plumber? <laughs> who, 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 <laughs> now check this out. Hold on. What I do Wait, is, what's the answer to that question? I should be able to vote because yeah. I'm always paying for a woman. Women, you know why lesbians went extinct? <laughs> they can't, bro, Adam, they don't fucking pay the dinner. The two fucking bitches look at each other like this. <laughs> Who the fuck's paying? That's why those bitches went extinct, bro. They all got locked up for running off on the check. How many lesbians do you really know? You just know bisexual girls now. Lesbians are extinct. They're gone. Yeah, it, and I'm it, like, I know it's financial. It is weird when I meet a porn star girl and I realize she is a real deal lesbian and she's just fucking me on camera. And the, it's basically a total lie. She goes home. She Bullshit goes, that happens. You know, really? Yeah. And like hot ass chicks that you would look at on Instagram and you would think, oh, she's hot. She must be fucking dudes all the time. And then at some point when I'm hanging out around him, I realize, like, oh, no, she has a girlfriend. She's a full lesbian. She's, but how's she getting wet? I mean, you could probably like, <laughs> like, even if you were like pretty disgusted by a penis, you could probably still hop on one for 15 minutes if you're a woman and ride it for a video, right? You know, I doubt it's that hard. You know what I wonder is like Carl Jung, right? The most famous psychologist of all time, one of them. He said, and and he was kind of liberal, like yeah. He said everyone has gay experiences. You can, you know, whatever. But he said it seems to me that no matter how you slice it, and he was gay and stuff. He said no matter how you slice it, it seems to me that a male on male or a gay relationship is an adolescent mind that you have to grow up out of like it's it's like you're a youthful mind you know you're exploring your stuff but eventually eventually when you're done playing around you go back to getting married to a woman and i'm like bro if the biggest genius in history wrote that essay how the fuck am i gonna debunk him you know am i homophobic for reading that essay like what would you say to him you'd say he's wrong probably what's the argument and some people are just gay damn i had carl young and he had that <laughs> yeah, I mean, I don't, I don't see being gay as like an immature thing. No, I'm not. I didn't see more it. More of a gay thing. I didn't see it as immature, but I said, why is the biggest psychologist of all time? It's. I feel I, like I, if he was watching, he might say that he's being misquoted. I'm just, just guessing. No, 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 no. It's, I, it's an essay. He wrote an essay. It's an and, essay. It, and it wasn't an attack piece. true. It wasn't an attack piece. He said, go explore. But when you're old, go back to a woman. Like when you're 40, 50, that's how he worded it. It's not like he was saying, go be straight. He was saying, eventually you come out of it. And which is weird because I know a lot of gay dudes, they're not immature. They're business. They're, you know what I mean? Unless they're doing blow. <laughs> but you know what I mean? I won. <laughs> I won the fucking debate. Look at you guys. I mean, yeah. I mean, our attitude, I think, is pretty much like, oh, people can just be gay. Who gives a fuck? And your attitude seems to be more like, no, my attitude seems to be like, I never gave a fuck if someone's gay, but when I start reading about the biggest names in history who wrote these kind of studies, Freud, Young, like we study these guys in Yale and Harvard, why don't we study those other essays? Is it like, what the fuck? I mean, it was like a long time ago. But we study like, all the other stuff. The stuff that people consider like current or useful, right? I don't know. I, th I think really why I never feel homophobic speaking, and I've never had a gay dude even say that, uh, unless it's online, but in person, they love me, bro. They love me. But check this out. Why I'll never feel homophobic is like, bro, the world is gay. Like all the money, all the money is at the top. The top is gay. You know what I mean? <laughs> like how were they suppressed if they got all the fucking money? I went to LA, I went to some fashion thing. And they're like, yeah, come do like some kind of like wear some gay stuff, right? That was like a two, that's like, I could have made millions. I'm like, if I was gay, you think I'd be chilling here? I'd have, I'd be on a fucking yacht. If I turned gay right now, I'd be on a yacht tomorrow. Gay in LA. yachts? It's like I, exclusively gay yachts? I'm saying to be gay is like a fast track to being a millionaire, bro. <laughs> Am I crazy? I mean, what, if you were gay tomorrow, what would you do to start earning a million dollars? You could do rap. <laughs> all the all the labels are owned by gay dudes, right? No. Well, I mean, they talk about it. Yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. What the 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 covers? 
They do the cover stuff, the photo shoots, the magazines. I would say uh, the owners of the record labels usually aren't even really not the owners of the record labels. What am I trying to say? The editors of the of the magazines, right? right? I think you're thinking of Jews. <laughs> what is that? Well, the record labels realistic. What is it? What is a Jew? Jewish people. Never heard of that. I mean, probably not all, but like a lot. Of- I know what you're trying to do, okay? Fuentes it up real quick. I grew up with Kanye. You grew I, up with him? I love Kanye. Okay. But it's, it's not a religion. If you read Morals and Dogma, Albert Pike's the highest level Freemason, there's a statue of him. You're giving me a real reading list for after if you read, If you read it, it's not Jews. It's not Muslims. It's not Christians. They're called Luciferians, bro. It's a Luciferian pact. And what it is, is just Antichrist. That's all it is. They don't give a fuck. They don't care if you're a Muslim, Jewish. It's just Antichrist. That's why on the TV they just hit the attack the cross, attack the cross. They don't nobody could no one here would dare talk shit about a Muslim. But Christians, you could talk shit about the, it's like white guys. I you can like, shit on white guys all day, bro. I feel like me and him have probably done stuff that might have been considered shitting on Muslims at times. Like specific acts of Muslims. What, what Maybe not Muslims done? as a whole. But what have you done? I don't know. Complained about terrorism. Adam, you see how you shitting on a white guy is like the most normal shit now. I know. I, I hate that too. No, I shit, you on, I shit on white guys all the time. I no, can't stop. But whenever white people are like using their whiteness as like the joke of like, look at me, I'm stupid, I'm lame, I'm white. I'm just like, ugh, we got to nip that shit in the bud. Do you agree? Yeah, obviously. I talk about this shit all the time. It's kind of cringe. It's weird. Damn, I stole that from you too. I, didn't, I never even heard you talk about that. No, I, people got mad at me because they're like, oh, if you see it like, oh, everyone can bully the white kid in high school, why do you just talk shit about white people? I'm like, bro, watch my content. I hit all the race, every color. I fucking, all of them. Not enough to lose this job here, but just enough to get the views. <laughs> I want to hire you. I don't know what the fuck you're going to do, but it's a great, I love that. Idea. I think, you know what it would, would be? Kind of like blue, red, a bit of conspiracy. I grow, I use you guys, and I fucking become the next thing. When I use you guys, right. I'm at the fucking top. But and we then, could have a lot of fun in the meantime, right? Exactly. And you guys could use this footage and say, look how fake he is. He doesn't respond to me anymore. And then I have mm. to respond to like media pressures and shit. What do you think has been holding you back? I swear to God, what held me back is girlfriend for a year. Mm. Because I was like, oh, I'm going to be a Christian. I'm going to be, fuck that bitch, bro. She ruined my life. She ruined my life. And I always was curious. I'm like 80% sure I hate women. That bitch sealed the deal, bro. I actually lost a hundred no i'm lying eighty thousand dollars on that girl she w- that relationship ended with her in jail right because she threw a phone at me and i've never been hit that hard i was like holy fuck bro true really i called you? yeah she threw a phone at me i called uh security i was like get this fucking bitch out of here and you know how they do the cry thing the police come and some feminist bitch this fucking whore she goes baby girl come here I know he's abusing you. And she's crying. She's like, no, I want to stay with John. And the bitch was like, what the fuck? The police come. And in my head, I'm like this. Yo, my life's fucking over. Who the fuck is going to believe this guy over the 100 pound girl? And I'm looking at her. She look at me. I'm shook. And we're just waiting. And the police flashlight my face, a busted lip. And they fuck her up in front of me. Wow. High five, bro. What the fuck? That, you think God God don't got my back? That was a beautiful tale. But I had to pay $5,000 to get her out. Oh. Yeah. And You never and saw I, that money again? I love her, but God damn, if I didn't have this bad year, I still wouldn't have done shit. Because I don't, I don't like setting up the cameras and shit. But uh, I'm not doing Twitch and YouTube. I'm on to fucking Jumper and bigger shit. Yeah. You're, you can stay too and let's fucking go, <laughs> man. You live out here? Mm-hmm. Oh, okay. I thought he imported you from Miami. <laughs> no. Okay. Zerka, it was a great time getting to know you, man. We definitely should do some stuff. Let's let's keep talking about that. Uh, you guys, thank you very much. I feel like I feel like we owe her like additional camera time because. Well, I just want some more clips. Can we do like a rapid fire round? <laughs> yeah. Okay. Sure.
I'm just going to read off some questions. Yeah, I would love that. Okay. Actually, I'm going to go take a piss. You just sub subject him to this. I'll be right back. Good luck, Sarka. Oh, it's me. Yeah, yeah. Go ahead. Yeah. It's a woman's question. <laughs> okay. We're going to do like a bunch. I'm going to humiliate you. That's not the goal. I'm just getting your opinion. I'm saying if it's counter to my, like if it's I'm like. I'm not giving an opinion. I'm all right, just go, go, go. questions. Okay. Where's the best place to hit on women? Mm. Definitely, if you want quantity, a bar. Do the bitches drinking? Ah, I'm with my friends. But like, what are you looking for? Sex. Sex? Yeah, a bar. Those bitches are whores, bro. Okay. If you're in a relationship, is it cheating to go to the strip club? No, nah, because strippers aren't human. <laughs> Would you date a girl who's had an abortion? Date, like, marry and, you know, move on with? Or just use her for some ass? Or what do you mean? Date. Romantically. Oh, so use her. Okay. Uh, no. Romantically, no. But, like, if she got a nice ass, I'll be like, yo, I know you sacrificed the Moloch, but, like, we can repent and I can have that one more time. Because if I don't hit it, someone else is. And at least, you know, the Christian's going to hit it. Okay. Would you date a girl who makes more than you? The only time women make more than me is if they're fucking ugly Hillary Clinton or if they're hoes, like OnlyFans. So I wouldn't date an OnlyFans girl because uh, I don't like other men. I don't, bro, I didn't let the girl I was dating, I said to her, I'm like, yo, are you sure you want to date me? She's, she's like, yeah. I'm like, you know who I am? She's like, yeah. And so she stayed in her fucking house for a year. Like, you know how miserable it is to date me? Like, why do you even sign the contract? And so OnlyFans girl that goes out and parties, no, I wouldn't date that. What the fuck? Hell no. Okay. Does a woman's body count matter for dating? Of course it does. If the bitch has a lot of bodies, that bitch is traumatized. That bitch got, you know, she was traumatized. And I'm not saying men aren't traumatized. Something happened to us. You know, something happens to all of us. But yo, if you come up to a guy and say, yo, I have a hundred bodies. You're, you're like coming up to me and saying, bitch, I, hey, John, I'm just broken. I'm mentally broken. Like, no girl actually wants 100 bodies. That's like a myth. So what's a good number? Zero is the best, but uh, if they have like one long-term boyfriend that you could beat up, I like that. If, they, if they're with some fucking gangster, I hate that. So zero to one. Yeah, zero to one. Okay. That's so why you got to get them in high school. When you're in high school, so you're not a pedophile. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. Do you think men and women can be platonic friends? It, I can be friends with a woman if she's ugly, but she can't be friends with me. The bitch is trying to suck my dick every single time. I swear to God, I'm not doing that. I'm not Andrew Tate, right? I don't do the, I don't show my emotions. I'll tell you the truth. God is watching. I'm telling you, every woman I've ever had, bro, they're fucking. And it's like, are you going to say 500 of them? 500 I've had are all. What are the chances of that? It's almost like there's a pattern. And I'm not saying uh, she's born. I'm saying 80% of marketing is designed to the woman. She holds the credit card. 80% of marketing, meaning when she's watching Britney Spears as a kid and stuff, she's more programmed. Adam watched MTV and all that shit. He's not that programmed. Adam can go play chess. Uh, you'll never see a bitch play chess. You know what I mean? You ever seen the Queen's Gambit? No, no, but my brother loves that. It's about a woman who... He's very good at chess. Fantasy? Based on a true it's story. It's fiction, bro. <laughs> what about the Botez sisters? They play chess? Yeah. They, are They fucking suck. Those girls fucking suck. Well, they, they're better than you. They, it took them 20 years, bro. I could catch up in a year, right? You should. You should try that. You should definitely do it. That would be they, great. They, they hate me because I roasted the shit out of those girls. Yeah, like, really? you just did it yeah. again. So, I mean. Fuck those girls. Jesus. Wow. Bro, all I did is like make a couple jokes and they got mad and they're like, oh, that guy's kind of like mean. I mean, the thing about chess is that you just have to play him and then we'll know who's better. Yo, Train I'm, for a year. Listen, let's put money on it. What's your next question? Let's put 5,000 on Botez girls on chess after a year of me training. I was saying boats for a while. Botez, right? <laughs> yeah, Botez. Yeah. Is the gender wage gap real? Um, yeah, basically why men make more than women is because men do this thing where they actually go to work. <laughs> Holy <laughs> shit. Right. Women 
make less because they choose nursing and all these pathetic jobs, right? And the ones that want to act like men, they become fucking OnlyFans and stuff like that, and they get rich, and then they're like, oh, I don't want to do this anymore. But yeah, the it's definitely a myth. Like, dude, they're ch he agrees here too. No, I don't. They don't choose nursing, bro. Look in Sweden. They choose nursing, nursing bro. Nursing is a hard job. Nursing can be harder than it's being low a paying. Sometimes. It's low paying. But you said they don't work. That's why they make yeah. less. That's working. Uh, most they don't work. The nurse works. Less, right? Yeah, no, most don't work. First of all, you'll never meet a woman on earth that's ever had a job for life. Get the fuck out of here with that lie. Women work four to eight years maximum. Then they get a boyfriend, husband. Who the fuck do you know, 60, 70 years old, still working? It's only Hillary Clinton and the very manly women, the very masculine. But dude, women, like, they work six, six years and they're like, I'm out. Adam, he's going to be working till he's fucking Joe Rogan's age and Adam's always going to work. He's only like 15 years older than me. Fuck, bro, I'm fucking edit it out. I love <laughs> no, Joe Rogan. <laughs> <laughs> and shout out Eddie Bravo. That's his best friend. Huge flat earther. You're kind of the Eddie Bravo of he this episode. Me, <laughs> he got me on. He got me on. Oh, okay. Nice. Okay. Is being gay an illness? It, it's not an illness. It's more like, is Zerka fucking bitches at the club an illness? It's, you know what I mean? It's like, you're just, you're fucking up. I think being gay is just ill, like in like a 90s hip hop slang style. It's, just, it's, like, it's kind of dope and funky. Being gay, it just means you're bored, right? You'll never be bored with a woman because they're always as boring as they are they're always bringing arguments and you know stirring the pot that's why men live with them I think gay they, men are arguing as well no dude all my gay buddies they fuck they do blow they they never argue you'll never see gay dudes argue there's 10 of them right now in a penthouse fucking right now and they're always having fun and I said this I'm like if I was gay I would never be angry again ever you should at least consider it you should at least give it a try I can't because I want to hate fuck women. I hate women. <laughs> <laughs> You're not getting it, Adam. No, I, I love it. men. <laughs> <laughs> Is, was that it? I mean, I can keep going. It's up to you. Keep going. Keep give, going. Him, give him one more. Okay. Let's go. Should guys pay for everything in a relationship? Yeah, if she's listening, like, at, like my, my girls would all sit, stand, sit, stand. That's, they would actually sit and stand because I'm paying for everything. If I show her a bill, hey, I'm, I took you to every fucking country around the earth and you're not going to be an employee of mine? Are you fucking hot? You're, you're not even working, bro. I'm fucking sweat. I was working 23-hour days and I was losing my mind. I was losing hair, everything. I'm like, any girl that dates me, they're going to be before girlfriend and employee, meaning Anything I say, if I want coffee and stuff, and what's crazy about me, I never ask for coffee. I don't ask for dishes, nothing. I just sit down and start arguing with them. I like that. Uh, you probably saw that clip of Andrew Tay where he's talking about how the most important thing for a woman is that when he comes home from the club drunk with his boys, that she is there ready to make him food. I'm Look, like, this was just not a scenario that I would find myself in. This that's, means nothing that, to That's kind of gay because if you're at the club getting drunk and stuff, bro, that's feminine behavior, bro. You want to be in a... You want to be sitting here with Adam saying we're going to make 20 million fucking dollars. If Adam and I were at the club and partying and we posted on Snapchat, people would be like, yo, these guys have so much potential. But I'm surprised you didn't end up wrapped up in that whole little Andrew Tate Romanian galaxy out there. I could have seen you hopping on the PJ with Sneeko and Fresh and Fit. And no, because I took a year off. I was just... Uh, oh, you missed I might... out on the wave? No, these guys are huge. Sneeko is like, these guys actually, you got you to gotta have following. Did Sneeko really get a 90 on an IQ test, or is that just a meme? I feel like it's just a meme. He's a yeah. smart guy. Oh. Watch my fans hate it when I say that. No, I met Sneeko. He's smart. Okay. And, and he knows what he's doing business-wise, you know? 90 is pretty bad, right? Yeah. Who, who do you think is a 90? I've never taken one, and I'm not doing it here. Never. <laughs> I would never take an IQ test. Here's what, here's I would never take an IQ test on live. Yeah. I don't, don't want fucking people to find that out on stream. I'm not going to lie. I swear to God. I don't know if you just take this part out. I took one live at low viewers and the test stopped and said, you are, you are not eligible for this test because I took too much time on the third question. <laughs> Bro, Adam, Adam, this, this is why I think IQ tests are bullshit. How you know you're smart is if you're given a shit, if you're given a shit situation and make money, 
You're smart. You found, you're like the rat coming out of the maze, right? So some guys grow up with $5. They make $10 million. Some guys grow up with $10 million, like those rich white boys. They make nothing. They just drink and party. How you know you're smart is what you make out of the, the hand you're dealt. Right. Right? Like you bust ass. But how many podcast guys do you know who aren't posting that much and doing all variety content and stuff? There's so many lazy podcasts. This is the laziest fucking job. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? Some truth to that. All right. I got to go eat this piece of salmon, and then we're going to do another episode, right, Destiny? Yeah. All right. <laughs> is that Dick Masterson? I'm glad that you got a... He's on my stream fairly frequently. It's always this. I've seen it's, you guys, but... Okay, no, but hold on. This intently. At the beginning of the episode, he made a compelling point that I'm just a nerdy autistic dude who can't tell when he's joking. What do you feel now at the end of this? I feel like you seem to have a pretty good grasp on when he's joking or not. Although, I, I mean, honestly, I don't know if I do. I, 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 I kind of feel like I'm not 100% sure. You know, I think he's actually smart. The whole world points at me and says, you're playing a character, you're trolling. He's the only one knows that he knows I'm not playing a character. I'm fucked. Sock in your <laughs> pants. Do you have a huge dick? No, bro. No, I promise you. It looks massive. I, what is I, this? Yo, check I've this out. I've never said that to anybody on the podcast before. Bro, check or, this or out. Or in life. I pro I'm glad. Yo, keep that clip looks in. Looks like a giant. What the fuck? Check, yo, yo, check this out. I promise you, I got the smallest dick here. I promise you that. And I'm not proving it, but I'm saying I promise you. Well, because at my size. Have you seen Destiny's dick? Because, my, I don't have a small dick. Well, I haven't seen it. I'm just saying. How do you know? He's, because he's he fucks a lot of bitches. Me? That doesn't just that doesn't make, make your you dick a, bigger. Yeah. Adam, 260 pounds, and I'm only medium size. Like, that's fucking weak. You know Sha Shaq, those guys? Well, not Shaq. But <laughs> <laughs> big dudes have, like, uh, what's that Mandingo guy? I'm supposed Mandingo. to. Mandingo? I was supposed to have that. There's a porn star dude named Mandingo. I walk around with a fucking white boy dick. I was supposed to have this, bro. Right. At my size. So I feel like I got snaked there, but well, I actually watched a video from More Plates, More Dates, where he talks about penis pump. He he owns like fifteen fucking penis pumps, and he claims that they do work, and you can get like an extra inch or inch and a half. No shot. He said it. absolutely uh, an extra inch. I believe it. You know why I believe it? Cialis increases the was it the blood volume ten percent, and it adds. Cialis makes your dick so fucking big. <laughs> the first time in my life, a girl went on a group chat in my city with. 40 girls, Zerka's dick is huge. All 40 of them said, fuck, no, it's not. But that bitch I fucked on Cialis. So she thought it was huge because the blood volume, it increases. So there are things you can do. The logic that More Plates, More Dates was using was basically like you can kind of stretch any of the skin on your body. Like you see people do it with their ears or oh, shit people like that. Yeah, but for, but for yeah. penis, it's not the skin that like is the, that's doing the work there. The skin is just the thing on the outside. It's like I, all the caverns and shit that fill up inside, right? Yeah, but if you could loosen up the actual skin, then you could potentially like get more blood in there and make it. And and more plates, more dates claimed also that like How immediately after you do it, it's like maybe a hundred bucks or something, a couple hundred bucks. Um, soon after you do it, like he was talking about how he would do it in order to go have a sexual experience. So he would spend an hour pumping his dick and then go to see a girl and his dick would look considerably bigger, at least from his viewpoint. And I kind of, I trust this guy about everything else. So I figured like, there's yeah, gotta this be is something how, to When it. it comes to penis enlargement, this is my like go-to philosophy. Yeah, let's hear it. <laughs> <laughs> this is my go-to philosophy, okay? It's like the weight loss shit. I gotta know, bro. Hurry up. <laughs> If something works for if something works for penis enlargement, you're not gonna have to go to some weird. Let shady me write this down, bro. To fucking look for it, like every motherfucker is gonna be talking about it. Like it'll be it'll be like sold at every gas station, every Walmart, okay, every Target. As soon as there's a work, especially for a hundred bucks, if you can add an inch to your dick for a hundred bucks. Check these numbers. He yeah. says that you might have to do it for a thousand hours to get an inch. I think guys would do it. Oh, I think so too. But I like, think we get a discount. All three of us, right? If we buy that thing. Oh well, I'm sure there's penis pump companies watching this right now. So if they'd like to send them to the PO box in the no, description, with... I can make sure they get to Destiny and Zerka. No, no, I'm good. We're, <laughs> I'm good we're sponsored by him, so we get we get a discount on the pump. But they we're have one that you wear while you sleep, so that seems like a good way to get a solid. That like, seems like a good way to hours. wake up and have like a necrotic fucking dick that's falling off. I thought you about that too. Up. I'm scared that somehow one of my testicles would get sucked into oh, it, and God. that I would wake up feeling like my ball was being sucked into outer space, like when they opened the fucking hatch. <laughs> On the, on the spaceship. I don't know. I definitely don't want that to happen. Yeah, I could Do you ever have? Okay, here's a question. You've done a lot of porn. You fucked a lot of girls. You know how when you go to Chipotle and you order like a bowl of chicken, hmm. and you like on your third or fourth bite, the chicken is like fucked. It's like gristly or something. 
does it ruin the rest of the chicken for you? Or can you just eat it with a, no problem? What's, or, the, what's the gristle in this it's example? Like, I, well, like... How are you going to link the, this to asking, a cock? I'm just asking for the chicken. I'm just saying, like, if you if you get, like, a chicken thing or, like, a steak bowl or whatever, and you take a bite, and, like, the second or third bite is like, fuck. It's some nasty fucking shit. Can you eat the rest and not worry about it? Or are you always thinking, like, the next bite's going to be fucked? I'm just curious. Well, like, when I'm eating Chipotle or anything, really, I feel like usually I have it so set in my head that I'm going to enjoy this food experience that they could serve me a bowl of diarrhea, and I might actually just consume the whole thing before I started to become cognizant of the fact that it wasn't the usual bowl. Oh. Well, damn, good for but you. But if you're if talking you, about pussy, if you, I, well, it, my question, the, 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 he's gonna link it to a cock that a girl's just gonna keep fucking the small dick. No, but this right? is something I've heard from a lot of porn dudes, and I can notice myself doing it as well. Is that you can kind of compartmentalize your attraction in the sense that you might not find the girl completely attractive. You might think her vagina smells. You might think her tits look weird. The, but you could always find something about her to focus in on that you are attracted to. Yo, I've I, heard porn dudes say right. like okay, they'll on, just wait, be wait, looking. Right, at the smoothness right. of the skin. I was and that, bro, and bro, so they just I was focus like, on you, that. If you're hitting it from the back and maybe you're not that into her, squint your eyes and it's her sister. <laughs> squint your eyes in general, yeah. Close you know, your you eyes. can do yeah. things to make her hotter and stuff. So I don't know what you're saying. I was going in a totally different direction with that. Uh, I was just curious. If you ever with a girl and she makes a mistake, like if she squeezes your balls too hard or she does something that like hurts you, right. can you carry on the interaction or does that fuck you in the mind? Kick her out. What the fuck? <laughs> she squeeze if she ball. like hurt my balls a little, I'm sure I could I could get over that. You just and get continue. over it and just keep going. Personality wise is where I run into a harder situations like dating wise. Like there's a lot of shit a girl could say to me that would make me never want to speak to them again. And it might be hard for me to even like fake the emotions in order to like have sex with her. Is there anything in a sexual encounter where something happens and you're like, I can't I can't continue? Aside from like an extreme, like she periods on you or something, right? I mean, I've had girls defecate all over me, and I just washed it off and kept going. Bull Jesus. dick, you're what? Well, for the porn, f- yeah. Well, oh, no, 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 wait, 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 wait. That's You've a different thing. If you're doing shit? that's a job. If right? you're doing a scene what for a it, that's liar, different. Bro. Yeah, but right. I mean, like in a casual hookup, like you're hooking up. Is there anything the girl does? Have you ever had a girl like riding you and come down on you wrong and like you're fucking, yes. like it hurts? Yes, and go on, yes, like, yes. You just oh. said you've never had sex. You said you only have head. Well, bro, breaking breaking your dick though is that's my biggest fear. Oh, the dick, yo, dude. chill, chill. Because I know a lot of people it's happened to. And it's fucking really yo. scary. I'll be on the bench for many, many weeks. But oh, I don't know. Like, yeah, that same thing. If a girl, like, shit all over me while we're having sex, then... And then you could beat her up. It's like, why would, <laughs> why would I... The fuck are you talking about shit all over I'm sure I could there? continue, but I might right then and there just be like, okay, this Bro, is the end. Yo, you know most women nowadays are fucking rapists? I, I, I get these messages from... <laughs> wait, 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 wait. When you say fucking rapists, you mean they're fucking men that are rapists or they are rapists? Women are... Most women today are rapists. Okay. And <laughs> you're not even going to debate this. I saw on those cute... Bot, all those kind of channels, a lot of dudes growing up right now are saying they're getting fingered in the ass as a joke, and they don't like it, and the girl pressures it, and she doesn't like it. It's like a joke. Bro, if a girl ever surprised put anything in my ass, you, I'd be in a cell right now. I would fucking unload yeah, for on sure. that. For sure, you need to talk about that beforehand. Bro, but... Th- but You shouldn't it. put anything in a woman's ass without asking as but, well either, because it's just a precarious area. Adam, kids are so lost right now, they think they're impressing her by getting pegged. And then later, she they've been on my podcast, and they said this. They're like, I didn't actually like doing that to him. And he would be on a podcast, and he'd be like, I didn't like it either. Actually, it hurt. And I'm like, bro, you know you're getting raped? Every community or subculture I've ever been a part of, a guy getting fucked in the ass would pretty much be met with like laughter and teasing and bullying. So I would love to know about the social circles in which you get teased and made fun of if you don't get fucked in the ass. Because that's pegging is a thing where a lot of Zoomers out of high school they get out of high school and then the girl talks about pegging as a joke, right? These guys know what I'm talking about, right? They're smiling. Look at them. They know what I'm talking about. A lot of you, a lot of the <laughs> youth, like, a lot of the youth, a lot of the youth get pegged to kind of impress her. And right. she's just trying something new. They're just exploring, I guess. But I'm like, yo, imagine like getting pegged when you don't want it. But don't you're, do you're it. trying to impress her? That's crazy shit, bro. Don't do it. Yeah. Since your balloon knot up tight. All right, I'm going to go eat this piece of salmon. We got another podcast out of this. Thank you very much, Zerka. Farha, appreciate you. You I know it was a little bit, it was hard to contend, but uh, yeah. (laughs) He's got to pee. We out.